Woo! Lowest start viewer count in months. We fucking yeah, we're we're sub ten. Like that's yeah. That's the sort of shit that uh it'll it'll fucking change. I know what's gonna happen here in the future. Um so that's louder than I intended it to be. Um, I know there's at least one raid coming my direction. Um, <clears throat> Bobby, I'm I'm already aware of one raid that's gonna happen. So, yeah. Uh, no, it it won't stay that way. Let's just put it that way. Um. So if we want to have any levels of shit fuckery, um, we should probably do it before that happens. Um, oh, so yeah. Spent a little bit of the afternoon torturing Kez. Um, jumped on her air uh, on it on oh Jesus Christ on their air. Um, I fucking I swear I was going for there, but I missed the fucking th. <laughs> um, jumped on there. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, Bobby, I'm I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, a chainsaw has been um a little bit better. A little bit better. Uh, the neuropathy was kind of obnoxious, and uh, I smoked a little weed to deal with it. And I, I can't, I can't do a stream when I'm high. I can't do a stream when I'm high. I can finish a stream high, but I can't start a stream high. It's just a thing for me. It's just a thing, man. Um. So yeah, it was like, all right, my neuropathy's bad. I'm too high already. Fuck it. Got to call it. So called it. Um. But yeah. Oh, yeah, I wanted to Let me get that up. Uh, so, did everybody have a good day? Um, yeah, you know, better. Uh, you you live with somebody who has chronic pain issues. You, you know how, how the scale works. Um, I don't know what, yeah, I don't know what that fucking means, Fen. Uh, but, yeah. Oh, what y'all want to talk about? <laughs> oh, I, I spent the afternoon torturing Kez. It was um, so many good laughs. So many good laughs. Um, I, eh, I can't hear you, but you're so us. I was just saying how I spent the afternoon torturing you, Kez. Um, I can't, I can't share the details, unfortunately. Those are not my details to share. Um, but, <laughs> oh, like I, like I said, I, I've been giggling most of the afternoon just because fucking, <laughs> just torturing guys. Um, Sven, you do what you got to do. Um, thanks for hanging out either way, Sven. Um, the Sven. Um, so Yeah. <laughs> oh, Kez. Uh, there's, I mean, I've got like a bunch of fucking headlines and shit. Um, but I knew I should have been there. Damn commitments and such. I'll be raiding in, in about 20 minutes. I've been told I'm not allowed to yet. Yeah, whatever. Um, Ke Kez. It torture? Yep, I was there. Anyway, yeah. Um, <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't. Like, I would have to just outright say it, and I can't say it. So, yeah, yeah. Um. <laughs> it's been a good time, though. Hashtag Team Joey. Um. I'm long coveting sucks, but I heard it might get labeled a disability. Heard on Dem now, uh, democracy now. Um, hey, Cassidy. Oh, Bobby. It wouldn't, I mean, he, Kez got fucking raided by the serfs right after I jumped off uh, off his air. 
Um, I had to go make some food and, you know, take care of this. Um, and yeah, right after I jumped off, jumped off the fucking surfs raided into Kaz. I, I walked back by, I was like, 300, what the fuck happened? Um, but yeah, so I don't know how many, but I don't know how many uh, Kaz has managed to hang on to. Um, but yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be a bit of a raid here in 20 minutes or so. Um, <clears throat> Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, Ke Kez, um... <laughs> Everybody, okay, so if you're in here, type hashtag Team Joey. All one word, J-O-E-Y. Hashtag Team Joey. Go for it. Watch what Kez does. Watch what Kez does. Just hashtag Team Joey. Kez, 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 Kezer box, Kez. Um, yeah. So those of you who are familiar, this is this is as much as I'm willing to say on the topic without revealing like a huge amount of details and those sorts of things. Um, Kez has found himself into a situation that Kai was describing that he was entering into the other night. Um, so if you can sort of put two and two together on this one, fill in your own details. We're not going to go into them. We're not going to elucidate them. We're not going to guess at them. I'm not going to confirm any individual details, but yes. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> uh, well, given the anarchist, uh, anarchistic Republic of Cospaya lasted for 375 years only because of the force of the papal states in combination with one of the, uh, I visit Venetian, um, princes. I always, uh, get those, um, and get them a little twisted as far as Italian history goes. Less for 375 years. Just fine. Um, it sort of depends. It, the 99.9%, uh, .9 and I'm not exaggerating with this, William, 99.9% um, .9 of all anarchist um, spaces that are created are usually driven out by authoritarians on the outskirts of them. They don't collapse um, because of internal conflict. They don't collapse because of instability within anarchist theory. Um, the issue is when you've got the Red Army at your door. The issue is when you've got the British Empire at your door. It's that sort of thing. Which, I mean, if that's your argument that, oh, well, then they, you know, they, they fail because of that. Well, most things fail because of that. Most places, states, um, philosophies, and theories collapse under the weight of the USSR attacking you continuously. The, they collapse under the weight of the United States military attacking you continuously. So as far as I'm concerned, from a theorist point of view, it's not really much of a critique. So yeah, how would they fare? Pretty well, actually. Um, Trumbleplex outside of Detroit is an anarchist co-op. It manages to interface successfully with um, neoliberal capitalism and has for... I forget what they're up to, 27, 28 years now, something like that. I know it's not the longest, but like I said, um, you know, there are longers. Hey, Puka. Hey, Justin. Um, how was your stream, Justin? Um, and so, you know, they, they've got housing co-op, they've got a library, they've got uh, an event space, they've got their own internet, they've got, you know, all these sorts of things. And they run just fine, um, you know, White Wall and um, in Britain lasted just fine um there it is <laughs> so justin just raided in um and there's kez's raid in um hey kez and kez's people and uh the um the the hangovers uh the surfs viewers as well that raided into kez and then have raided in here um how are y'all doing i was just doing a little bit of anarchist education for somebody who came in and asked how i felt an anarchist society would fare um Something, something, something today. 
Um, hey, Redacted. Um, so everybody knows um, this channel's official policy is we are hashtag Team Joey. Um, how would anarchist survive, a society would survive? There we go. I'm going to characterize that question correctly. Um, so, yeah, I was just uh, sort of doing the, doing the anarchist education spiel, um, as, is, as is my way. Um, but for those of you who are hanging out on Kez's channel and were wondering what the fuck that guy's voice sounded, uh, uh, what that guy looked like um, at the other end of the voice, though the surfs came in after I left, so y'all wouldn't have heard my voice. Uh, <laughs> redacted right, right out of the fucking gate redacted, right? Yeah, we are hashtag Team Joey on this channel. It is an official position, hashtag Team Joey. Fuck you too, Kez. Love you. Oh. Anya, um, COVID test? If so, congratulations. Well, I mean, most tests you really want to come back negative. So congratulations, most likely, um, for all of those. Uh, see, see, now, Jen, now I can fuck with you. You're on my, on my channel. I can delete those hashtag team Kezes now. Um, except I won't because this isn't literally 1984 like it is on, uh, on Kez's channel. Fucking authoritarians. Um, <laughs> Sven, okay, it's fed up. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Jen, I didn't delete those. Mod staff is all one singular person as far as I'm concerned. One is guilty, all are guilty. <laughs> um... <laughs> either way um for those of you who came over from the surf raid via the uh kez raid uh if you're wondering i do anarchist education five days a week uh, unless i take a day off which happens i suffer from a chronic pain issue um but i do anarchist education and outreach i also talk about economics and theology theology is one of my fun topics i quite enjoy talking about theology especially with bible thumpers that come in and start talking about sin and degeneracy as you can see we are proudly hashtag team dgen on this channel uh if you're wondering where the rainbow dgen on uh kez's channel came from um proudly dgen um so Either way, uh, Chrissy Dad, how's the, how's the legs? The legs, uh, you know, they're okay. They're okay, uh, Krusty. Thanks for asking. Hey, Wither. Um, eh, Rumble, no big deal. It was it was just a quick rundown of like how anarchist societies would would survive, and it was just a sort of backlog of like you know, because bio lasted for three hundred seventy five years. Trumbleplex outside of Detroit is successfully at like twenty seven twenty eight years or something like that now, and that ninety nine percent ninety nine point nine percent of anarchist uh, societies or constructs collapse not because of inward conflicts or theory problems, they collapse because they are driven to extinction by external. Um, uh, authoritarian forces see the red army see the british empire see the united states that sort of thing so it's just in response to somebody asking about how survival of anarchist society given all factors of modern iteration you know how do i feel how do i see how do i view that sort of thing uh yeah <laughs> your message regarding messages is working well um Oh, Kai, Kai doesn't have a pain issue. He su just suffers from a lack of Sven. Um, <laughs> oh, Joey is Joey's the boss. I fucking love Joey. Uh, if you're in here, Joey, Omnicron, if you're in here, just, just know I'm in your corner, man. I'm fucking in your corner. Um... Oh, did I miss something from Rosa? Uh, Rosa. Hey, Rosa. Um, <laughs> I like the little hype, hype, hype doggy, uh, emote. Um, I got plenty of fucking VIP still. Like I got a bunch. I cleared like in one week, I cleared like three of those fucking hurdles, uh, those achievements. And like, they awarded me a sh ton. I've got, I've still got some, so 
Yeah. Um, hey, there, all right. So let's, you know what? Fucking firmly. This is the quickest anybody's ever gotten a VIP badge. I will tell you that right now, Joey. Um, roles manager. Add. <laughs> there you go, Joey. Hashtag Team Joey. Um, <clears throat> oh, thank you for the sub, Joey. Um, trying to find the title of a classic anarchist sci-fi novel based on a, upon a warship turning up for an anarchist planet run on a single principle of responding to authority with I won't ring any bells. No rumble. But if you do find it, send it my way. That sounds interesting. Um, Rosa, I, I totally understand the yoke of capitalism. The yoke of the authoritarian state is a mighty one. Um, it is near impossible to escape in its entirety. So by all means, um, I, I completely understand. Um, <laughs> you two are fucking terrible. Already as thick as thieves. I hate it. Um, yeah, yeah. Rumble. If you do find that, let me know. Um, fucking. Oh, we're going to go gonna full bro. Fucking do, do the hat. Um, I really do like this look I've come up with that I've concocted the sort of like t-shirt backwards fitted cap with a skirt and painted fingernails and, and toenails and stuff. It really is confusing people. Like when I go out, um, um, <laughs> guy can read it to us for bad movie night. Uh, thank you info. Um, when I go out like this, it confuses people like legitimately, I, I, I do catch double uh, like, you know looks like that like you know they see the top half like th this is the part that gets iterated into their uh conscious mind and then it seems like there's a, just there's a wait a second moment for uh, for a lot of people and it's like yeah yeah the dude's rocking a skirt and painted fingernail uh, painted fingernails and shit it really does do a do a thing to people um it's i i think it's hilarious um i like the pink better don't worry the pink will come back um, I've decided that I'm going to rotate. Hey, Mr. Brain Dead, thank you for the follow. Um, full bro, bro, bro out, yo. Um, I, I'm, I'm rotating between pink and blues, pink and blues, different, different hues, different shades, that sort of thing. Um, uh, Cassidy, I either wear my just like straight athletic shoes. Here, hang on. Thank you, Rosa. Yeah, I, I think the skirt bro thing is a thing. I really do. I, I, I sincerely think skirt bro is a look. And I think we could make it a thing. Uh, bluish purple. All right. Um, next up is another pink. I'm, I'm trading back and forth between pinks and blues. That's just, just sort of what we're doing. Uh, Chris, I, I, I'm, mm, I'm barefoot most of the time anyway, Chris. I am. I don't like shoes. I hate them. I used to barefoot run, even. Um, I did street and trail running barefoot. Um, grew up running around the, the mountains of Vermont barefoot. Barefoot and naked. <laughs> they couldn't keep... They, I have trouble keeping clothes on. Uh, if you knew, thank you for the follow. Um, no. No, whether I don't. I don't fucking these days with with all of my neuropathy and joint issues and shit like that. Um, yeah, no. Uh, if I get a jog in, it's for me. Um, and it's a rarity I managed to do that without pain. And right now I'm nursing a sprained ankle anyway, so that's not going to happen. Um, <laughs> I'm shocked Kai has a problem keeping clothes on. <clears throat> It was my number one issue drinking, honestly. Like back when I used to drink, and like I've, I've said before, I, I haven't been drunk in years, years. Um, and so, uh, fuck that barefoot shit. There's a, a hook worm around here. Oh, Rev, that's on you. Um, that was that was issue number one. 
with me was like all of my friends knew that like as soon as I had maybe three shots in me where is he you know where he is oh for fuck's sake running down the street naked just yeah um, this fan will teach you lesson of decency. Bad guy, bad. Sven, I I sincerely hope you make it to Vegas one day, Sven. I I, I do. The more I, the more I, I I I experience you, the more I kind of want to see what you're like in real life. Cause I I this on this persona you have is one thing. What you are, what you're like in real life, I I'm I'm actually curious about. <clears throat> um. Oh, I have, um, I have them, um, <laughs> Dr. Greg, Georgie, um, I have minimalist shoes, um, Rev, I have, like, barefoot shoes, I do, I, I have pairs of those, um, that I use, um, but, yeah, I jumped in a pool once drunk, quite a few, um, <laughs> hey, Adam, a couple of chuds tried to, get my docs a while back they wound up unearthing an article about me and this girl getting found naked on the roof of the mall um no no there's actually here i'll get up again i think i have them in this room They're basically, there's nothing to them. It's just a bare minimum of a sole to protect your feet from things. Um, they are, uh, Georgie, they are kind of close to bouldering shoes, yeah. Um, if you don't know and you're new, um, skydiving, rock climbing, rappelling, whitewater rafting, competitive inline, skiing. I grew up on skis, born in Vermont, that sort of thing. Um, basically, if there's anything extreme and like solo oriented that I could hurt myself doing, I've probably done it more than a few times. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, hey, thank you for the follow. Uh, <laughs> Jesus, Adam. Yeah, you, you're you're one of the, you're one of the ones that have a problem, aren't you? <clears throat> uh yes, I get the Tony Hawk thing a lot, a lot, a lot, like triple digits, a lot. Um, is like my standard answer is as long as you're not married to him, um, he's a cool guy. He he tends to trade out wives for a new model every seven to ten years. He's just one of those dudes. He wants the he wants the new model. Um, so as long as you're not married to him, you're fine. Um, and, but you know, yeah, he's super chill, really nice to kids and people all over the globe. So if there was anybody I was going to get compared to, you know, there's far worse. Jesus, really, Adam? Interesting. Yeah, he's not great with women aging. No, no, he isn't. <laughs> yeah, no, he isn't. That is that is the thing. Tony Hawk is an amazing person to know as long as you're not married to him. <laughs> if you're married to him, get 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 a marriage contract because he's gonna trade you out for a new model. He is. He does it every like I said every seven to ten years or so. He he trades out for the new model. Ah. Uh, it's, I would not characterize it as young girls, all right? He doesn't go for young girls, he, you know, but definitely probably not age appropriate. Let's just put it that way, <laughs> you know. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Don't run the Discord server. Okay. All right, Rev. Yeah. Rock on. This is a solid pair of boots, too. I like Keens, but... Um, posting my shoes. Uh, no, 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 no. Rumble, yo, uh, Rumble, drop it into the Discord, like shared content or like what the title is or something. Like, let let us know, some way, shape, or form. 
Uh, oh, no, see, DiCaprio, yeah, yeah, no, DiCaprio's in that category of creepy, I would say. Um, Tony Hawk, like, it's, it's like, okay, he'll, he'll, he'll go for, like, a 29 to a 35-year-old sort of territory, right? DiCaprio's dating, like, 18 and 19-year-olds and shit like that, some, like, it's, it's, it's a little weird, dude, it's like, you're, you're, you're too old to be doing that, man, you're too old to be doing that. Um, yeah, fucking, um, <laughs> guy, you destroyed my view of DiCaprio. Oh, DiCaprio's creepy. Him and George Clooney, both. It's like, ugh. Um, yeah, Rev, like, Tony Hawk keeps it over 25. Um, DiCaprio, on the other hand, is like sitting there like, are they 18 yet? <sighs> yeah, it's a little weird with DiCaprio. Um, oh, hang on one sec. Really? If she is, that's impressive. Tony Hawk may be growing the fuck up finally. Holy shit. That's, that's, that's growth, man. That's growth. We, we should applaud him for that. We should applaud him for that. Um... <laughs> Gates behind him, like we could just cross the border. Um, <laughs> it's crusty milf action. Uh, I mean, the guy I'm banging now is 51. So, you know, older has more experience. And in some things, experience counts for everything, folks. It, it Rev, it, it's it's growth for him. This <laughs> is bad. That was um that was my impression of uh, Leonardo DiCaprio waiting for somebody to turn eighteen so he could date them. Um. Fucked one old man, but he had a giant hog, so he got a pass. <laughs> um, the uh, the the current one isn't isn't um, <clears throat> he's no slouch. He's no slouch. Um, oh, bitch. There we go. Oh, it, it's it's interesting because I, like um, I'm just wondering. How long? Because with this sort of level of people in the room, um, we tend to attract... You have to understand, if you're new here, we tend to attract... Um, Anya... We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Thank you, though, Anya. Um, we tend to attract the, some interesting characters. Let's just put it that way. Um, I'll be generous. I'll be kind and generous. Um, some interesting characters who may be a, a bit, a bit wayward. Uh, they may be on the wrong path in life, as it were. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm surprised we don't have more people running in here right now, screaming, like, you know, who, who the fuck knows. Um, when I was 21, my girlfriend was 30, now I'm 30, and I'm like, what the fuck? Um... Cassie, I've always liked guys older than me. Uh, uh, Bobby's seven years older than me. Um, yeah, we we kind of thrive on it around these parts. My my community has grown to quite enjoy a uh, little, you know, game of toss the chud uh, or you know, toss the tanky. Um, yeah, it's it's always a good time. Um, it, it just we we it's annoying when they get boring that's all we ban people who are boring oh whatever this is i don't like it um <laughs> sven sven 
Yes, Redacted. Always a fun time when the Chuds show up and uh, I, I have to twirl for them. Yeah. Yeah, that's the game. <clears throat> um, Jesus Christ. Voice is a little weird today. Um, uh, you know, the, the, the community members know. Like, one of the things that neuropathy affects is my throat from time to time. And I wasn't exactly easy on my throat over the weekend. Um, um, so, yeah. Yesterday, having a day off yesterday, though, did it well. Exactly. Just live freely, though. If you've got any problems at all in the world, whether you're being coerced or oppressed, whether you're being uh, beaten down by the system on a daily basis, whether you're being exploited or not, just remember, it's all up here. You just have to live freely and then nothing else matters. For those of you wondering what's happening right now and why this is just this line of bullshit is falling from my mouth, it's actually channel lore. Um, yeah, Redacted Redacted is doing a, a tag or a callback to a very special person uh, who we had to engage with for whatever reason, um, whose opinion was that uh, nothing matters. There's no point in participating in politics because as long as you, quote, live freely, you're good. So you figure it out. We still don't know to this day. Um Aw, jumping rabbits. Aw, boo-boo. Pookie, sweetheart. Baby. You're in the wrong place, sweetheart. Oh, of course he didn't, Sven. Uh, yeah, I think we I think we hooked one. Um, jumping rabbits, you're adorable. Yeah, like this is you just you walked into a gay club and you're like, where are all the chicks, man? Like you, you really you have no situational awareness, do you? It's OK. Uh, yeah, for sure. That's definitely what's going on. Me talking about banging my 51-year-old dude is definitely uh, being proud baby fucker. You know, there's there's not much difference between a, an infant and a 51-year-old uh, man. I, I'm sure, you know, in your mind at least, which is, you know, basically two packing peanuts that occasionally bump into each other in a uh, stadium. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> oh jumping why are your panties in a bunch man why why do you why do people living just living their lives bother you so much what's that about <laughs> oh, do you think do you think we're gonna do you think that's gonna like trigger us or something? Do you think that that's gonna be a successful role? Like, do you do you really think that this is the room that that'll work in? You aren't living your life, really. What what should I be doing to be living my life? Please help me. You destroy the community. What community? Whose community? Please, details. Details. I, I, I need, I need, you, with your degenerate behavior, you are so proud of. Aw. Pookie. So how, how is my gay behavior destroying the community? The truth of the matter is, is that um, gay, uh, gay men in America have a disproportionate wealth uh, or a disproportionate income compared to cisgendered heterosexuals. The truth of the matter is, is I contribute more economically to a community that I participate in than you will ever contribute to. So, 
sweetheart. Maybe stop being a drain on society and stop being a, a welfare queen. I love repurposing some of those fucking chud talking points. Yep. <laughs> Dual income, no kids. Uh, you don't contribute shit. Uh, so economic gains aren't shit now. Is you don't you don't care you don't care about the economy. You you would rather collapse the capitalist economy. Sweet, jumping rabbits. Everybody is uh, anti-capitalist. A himself. Oh, I'm clicking this for sure. <laughs> Adam. Um, yeah. A rabbit person. <laughs> uh, come on. Come on, jumping rabbits. Come on. You can, you can, you can put a cohesive argument together, I'm sure. I believe in you, man. I believe in you. You can do it. Gay people traffic children. Mm -hmm. um, that's that's why Epstein and uh, Maxwell are renowned uh, homosexual and lesbian pair, right? Yeah, for sure. Some of the most famous child traffickers of all time. Flaming. Flaming queers. Yep. Oh, no, no, you can't, you can't get a complete, you can't get a complete sentence, let alone two sentences plus punctuation. That's asking a lot. I mean, you know, just imagine the King of the Hill meme. Like, you know, if those kids could read, they'd be re really mad uh, or really upset or whatever it is. <clears throat> yeah, Matt Gates. you know, whatever. Yeah, that, that's, I mean... That's that's asking a lot. We should we should we should be understanding as leftists and come down to their level, right? You have to meet the proletariat where they are, right? You cannot expect them to ri rise up to multisyllabic uh, speech. You can't expect them to understand political science or technical jargon or vernacular. You can't understand. You cannot expect that. So what we have to do is just be understanding and go down to his level. Um. So you know. Everybody, remove your college educations, remove your high school educations, remove your middle school educations. We're all going back to the third grade, maybe at most sixth. Okay, now, are you there? Okay, now we're ready to engage in some praxis. <laughs> Bobby, can I keep my masters? Um... Username still in list. <laughs> Meet right back to monkey. Hey, mate. Um, yes, exactly. One plus one equals three. Um, <laughs> so now, now that we are mentally prepared for interacting with you, jumping rabbits, are you still here, Pookie? Because I know your username still in chat. Are you Are you ready to have the conversation? Tell you what, jumping rabbits. Fucking, if you're still here. Let me know. I'll br I'll bring you on the air, rabbits. Penis. Yeah, I'm I'm guessing he's already fled. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Oh, thanks, Rumble. Oh, I fucking love it, Kez. I fucking love it. I love it for you, Kez. You need this. You need this, Kez, and you know it. You know it. You need this, and you know it, Kez. Just, just hit the switch, man. Hit the switch. It, it just, you know, I know your switch is buried a lot deeper than mine, but just flick that switch and go do it man do it anyway um blue room thank you um 
we find um we find around these parts that one i'm willing to engage as long as you engage in good faith i will have a conversation with literal nazis like we've uh, you know actual neo-nazis like we had a swedish neo-nazi in here we've had a dude asking for like national socialist channel recommendations we have alt writers we have and caps neo-feudalists we get you know libertarians we get and prims and i will have a conversation with just about anybody but you have to operate in good faith if you come in hot like that operating in bad faith talking about degeneracy and how how the fucking gays like trafficking children and shit like that the the last stop that we have the last tool the 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 most valuable resource that we have is mockery Contained within our toolbox of rhetorical device, the most powerful tool we have is humor, is mockery, is vicious, vicious mockery. Because everything after that requires some level of violence. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're not afraid to get our hands dirty a little bit as far as making fun of some fuckers that need made, making fun of. Um... Let's see. Uh, Puka, yeah, I mean, they usually are. It's flicked, and I don't know how or why. Holy shit, Kez, look at you. You thought it was going to take a lot to break you. You thought it was going to take a lot. Fucking all it took was an afternoon of me rooting him on from the corner. Hey, Kez, hey, Kez, hey, Kez. The first scene you're in with him you have to look at the corner of your room and imagine that i'm standing there yelling team joey fuck yeah hashtag team joey Woo i'm rooting him on from the corner that shit's gonna be in your head now kez you're not gonna be able to get rid of that you are gonna have a moment when you two are together you are gonna see my fucking grinning dumbass face standing in the corner laughing my ass off yelling hashtag team joey this shit is in your head and you know it anyway sorry everybody i just you know i've had an afternoon of absolutely torturing kez and i've just reveled in every second of it it has been just oh, oh it's been an absolute delight to torture the ever-loving fuck out of you this afternoon kez um, truly, it has made my afternoon, it has made my day, it may even make my week. Um, so. <laughs> uh. I'm just a degenerate with two color, two different colored hair. I should be relatively easy to eliminate him. Fucking Adam's still waiting. Yeah, that motherfucker already ran off. He, I, I, I guarantee he already ran off. Um, yes, yes, he, he is out of the user list. Um, so yeah, we can, we can stop fucking baiting his little punk ass out. Um, it, wither, not at all, not at all. How healthy is it to chug pure sugar cane? Um, <sighs> about as healthy as to chug a bottle of like cocaine don't don't oh yeah they always do Nine, we know the we know my you know my rule 98 percent of the uh, of the like conservative types uh that come in here hot you know talk talking all mad shit bail when you challenge them they just bail right the fuck out oh is joe here jo oh that's amazing um, hold on. Um, if you're, um, if you're on the discord server, check out, uh, check out the commons, um, for the, for the regulars and the people who know what's up, like what's what, um, check out the commons right now. Um. I don't speak much English. Want to share another view? This is an anti-capitalist media in my city. Ooh, Facebook. Um, Nantes, uh, <laughs> Riverdale today. Um, and a media that rather covers the news in France. Um, okay. Um, uh, we, hey, banana. We have a few people who are like I've got a couple of anarchists from France uh, in the community that make their way. They stop by from time to time. 
Um, Adam, uh, exclamation discord, get yourself a link. Yep, everybody enjoy it. The comments are starting to pile in there. Everybody's enjoying what, what Joe posted. Um, hey, Caboose. Uh, came in from, uh, came in hot, but never left. I'm no chug because I'm not, because uh, I'm not, well, well, you know. Yeah, Sven, you, you are weird. You, I, I mean, admittedly, and you know it, Sven, you annoy the shit out of some people. Talk, uh, talk JB, thank you for the follow. Um, but you know, you amuse me. Um, so you, you're, you're, you're welcome as long as you, you know, don't purposefully aggravate people. <laughs> too much, too much. Um, <laughs> me challenging you at all yeah yeah sven sven is an acquired taste i i will admit that sven is a an acquired taste um <laughs> uh yeah that's that's an adorable picture <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. For for everybody, that's not Joe. Like, so, so everybody knows. Like, that's that's Joe taking the photo. That, that isn't actually Joe, but that's just one of like his compatriot types that he's partying with these days. Um. Uh, okay. Oh, Jesus, Cave. I I I, I I'm I'm still a little twitchy from that dude that fucking what was his name mla something or other something something mla god i forget that dude's name i i don't remember any of these idiots names um but yeah yeah that that dumb fuck that got himself banned from every space because he fucking walked into every room um bitching about the singular usage of they mla grammar police yeah there we go yeah, that fucking douchebag. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. I didn't even look at it. Yeah, he does. He has nice legs. Not as nice as mine. Um... <laughs> um, if you have an issue with they them pronouns your giant baby I, I can't imagine I just can't imagine giving a shit right like that's that's I don't have enough energy in my day and sure you know I'm old and have chronic pain issues so my, my energy reserves I have fewer spoons than most but I couldn't imagine giving a shit right like that's in the, the grand scheme of shit that I care about, what you call yourself, like, I, I, didn't, didn't, don't most of these fuckers grow up online anyway? Aren't we all used to pseudonyms? Right? Like, I'm, I've, I've long been comfortable. That's why it was easy for me to change my name. It's not a big deal. I had been using pseudonyms, you know, anonymous, anonymous and pseudonymous uh, identifiers for most of my life online it wasn't it's not a big deal um I, I just couldn't imagine like giving a shit about something like that oh what you call what you call yourself i'm going to do a five hour argument against like who gives a fuck man i, I just some of these fuckers care about shit that i can't possibly imagine caring about Um, actually, they're not crossed right now. Let's see. Can we do a side cam? Can you see? Yeah, they're not crossed. Like, knee over here. Knee over here. Uh, yes, I am.
uh, K, uh, um, Kez, I'll, I'll, I'll handle this in a second. Just, just, just don't worry about it. Just, just put the pin back in the grenade. Oh, well then get on the air and, t and school me on pronouns. If you, um, okay. So you have a tiny, you have tiny dick and energy and all you care about is an antiquated style guide that is one of like half a dozen style guides and doesn't even necessarily agree with you wholeheartedly as the board of commissioners for it really has a different opinion than the style guide at this point but um you you schooled us once yeah see except you didn't and what you ended up doing was tucking your tail between your legs and running into other spaces to complain because you got bitched out on this channel. And unlike the other channels, we didn't ban you. What ended up happening here is your little punk ass got banned in so many other channels, you ended up racking a report, uh, multiple reports, and then your account got pulled. Um, yeah, Leah, they, they, they do. Um, that, that's kind of what they do. Um, and, um, yeah, and we showed etymological evidence that singular, uh, singular they usage as a pronoun dates back to the 1400s. You're, you're like 600 years behind the times on this one. And you're using an acad a prescriptive academic guide, w only one that actually agrees with you as to the nature of this usage and only in technical papers technical scientific scientific technical or academic papers all of which fall under technical papers so it's interesting that this is the hill that you've chosen to die on it's it's a fascinating it's a fascinating look into your psyche frankly fyi I would say that you probably have a little bit of a borderline obsessive personality disorder going on and you may want to consult a therapist. Again, I can't diagnose you at a distance. That's not how uh, psychology or therapy works. But I would, I would probably consult with a professional given your obsessive nature about this singular issue. It seems a little unhealthy. For somebody who's con who's obsessed with a style guide for, uh, uh, who's obsessed with a style guide, your grammar and punctuation is utter dog shit. Um, Blue Room, it's the Modern Language Association. One of a handful of style guides used for uh, academic uh, writing. <clears throat> Oh wait, what did what did he do? Nice. A Tithanio, yeah. And even within academia, it means not as much as MLA would like it to. Um, there's, there's a handful of other guides that people adhere to. It's not even the, it's not even the authoritative source for, uh, for style guide writing in academia. Tithaniel. Yeah, it's not surprising. Which one do you use, Tithaniel? Um, AP style, Chicago, um, APA style. Like, what's your what's your go-to? <clears throat> Chicago. All right, fair enough. Um, but 
Well, I, t okay, so textures, I'll, I'll give you the same <laughs> APA, yo. Um, in journalism, we use the AP. Yet, yeah, I mean, very, the MLA isn't even the authoritative source any longer. Like for a moment there, I'd say maybe the late 80s, early 90s, it had its heyday. Um, <laughs> Jay, I've used at least three of those listed. MLA is the shittiest. Um, yeah, oh yeah. Um, see, MLA just is a transphobe who is trying to use a bad faith inorganic argument to attack trans people. That's all. And so it is, it's kind of hilarious that of all the things that they've decided to like use as an avenue in, it is one of the most boring and innocuous ones, given that English isn't a prescriptive language. It is a dualistic language. It is both prescriptivist and uh, descriptivist in nature. And in the spaces that, uh, you know, I can't even begin to, why, man? Just come out and say you hate trans people and own your shitty position. Why are you attempting to do this via the MLA guide? Like, this is the stupidest fucking argument ever. Twitchy by thank you to follow. Um Coward's gonna coward. I I mean that's the thing, is like you just own your shitty position. Like you're you're basically in the same camp as ANCAPs. You just don't want to You don't want to own your shitty position of being a neo feudalist. So you try and use anarchism as a bad faith inorganic cover, political cover, to protect protect your position. You're using the MLA style guide to att uh, to attempt a transphobic attack on a community. Just own your shitty position. Like you're a coward, and you're you're an idiot to boot, right? Like at least just be a be an idiot. <laughs> Twitchy, yeah. Um, okay, cave. Uh, uh, fucking, you're not cave. MLA, MLA. Here's here's the compromise I'm willing to make you. I will forever refer to trans people as a primary pronoun, as you see it. He, she, that sort of thing right? I will refrain from using they. Argument done? Are we over it? Okay. Are, are we done? Do you have anything to say past that? Hey, seller. Do you have literally anything Your only problem led you to be, uh, to literally go around to like a dozen different channels and harass people. Bullshit. You're full of shit. Oh no, I do not recognize your prescriptive uh, definitional set whatsoever. I'm just trying to see how much of an asshole you actually are. That's all. This is a rhetorical device. I'm engaging in a dialectical exercise right now. That's all. I will continue to use they, them as people ask me to or they choose to. 
But for the purposes of, you know, this conversation, I just wanted to see if you'd ever get off this fucking hill or not. So now that we've agreed to it, you're going to shut the fuck up, right? You're, you're done, right? You're gonna just going to leave the channel and you've, you're going to move on. You've, you've, you've won the battle here and you're, you're going to be done. We good? Oh, Jesus Christ, Leah. Thank you. Six months in advance. Holy crap. Yeah, well, uh, Texture Spunky, we, we play with them first. When they get boring, finally... Then we give them the yeet. Yeah, oh yeah, meat. It is. It's it's a fake. There's a missing N. K uh, MLA. MLA. Do you deny the fact that English is both uh, is a descriptive language by defin uh, by definition? That prescriptive, the prescriptive nature of English is a secondary category or a secondary form of English. That the primary uh, modality of operation for English is descriptive. Are you attempting to create a prescriptive language set for English a la French? Because that shows a fundamental misunderstanding of, of linguistics. If you are trying to transition English into being a prescriptive language, because that's what you're attempting to do. <laughs> I suppose thank you for the follow. I'm more offended by the prescriptivism than the transphobia. Uh, oh, he's he's got your back, Kez. He's got your back, all right. Um, give it, give it, give it another minute. Uh, meet. Give it another minute. I want to. I want to see if there's a response here, and then uh, meet when you see this. Do it. So. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I hate both, but prescriptivism set me off. There's a, there's a time and a space for prescriptivism. There is. Um, and I openly advocate for this being uh, one of those spaces where prescriptivist nature, uh, prescriptivist uh, linguistic sets is, are useful, especially given the, the fact that we talk about political science topics, economics topics, theological topics, right? These, these are technical spaces that we operate in. Um, and as such, we need a firm definitional set. Um, so, yeah. Like, um, I, 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 I'm, I'm okay with prescriptivism, but there's a space. Uh, Tithaniel, the two, um, the two, um, uh, the, um, the two, uh, forms of, like, linguistic modality, um, there we go, <clears throat> are prescriptivist and descriptivist. Descriptivist basically says that language is descriptive, um, how you use the word and how you fr your friends use the word and how the greater milieu, the greater community uses the word is how the definition is achieved. All right. This is descriptivism. Prescriptivism is, is saying that a formalized entity or an authority on it in some way, shape or form has put down the definition and that is handed down or uh, uh, dispersed throughout the community for usage. So... The example I would say is probably a good example would be literally, even, even though I will, I will want to fight this one to the death. Uh, um, literally does not mean literally anymore. It doesn't. We just have to accept that. Literally be, me, is, uh, uh, is uh, 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 selectic. It is now, it means both figurative and literal. 
Um, so we just sort of have to come to terms with that. Um, so that would be an example of descriptivism. Prescriptivism would say something like the, uh, the definition of TCP IP is transfer control protocol, internet protocol, which is a series of protocols or, um, or information fo uh, or formatted information packets that are used in a three-way handshake for information uh, for information transfer via electronic means, right? This isn't up for debate. This isn't up for like discussion. It has an actual definition. So that's prescriptive, right? These are the two modalities of operation within linguistic sets. Prescriptive is first versus descriptivist. Um, and um, Leah, thank you again for another gift sub. Um, congratulations, Adam. Um, I knew most of those words. Um, I hate the smell of weed in the morning. Interesting, Kaiser. Uh, one of my, I love, um, back when I was a real pothead, like I smoked every day, like all day, basically for 12 years. Um, one of my favorite things would be to like walk back in the house and like smell my weed soaked house. <laughs> after a day of being out dealing with like CEOs and bullshit and technical problems and stuff like that, walk in and just, Oh, thank God. <laughs> uh. Oh, well, I mean, I practice then, I guess. Right, Leah? Um, Leah, is it Leah or Leia? Or am I, or is it Lee or something like that? Like Leah, Leah, Leia, or something else? Give me a one, two, or three, please. Just so I can, I, I you know, if you give a shit. Oh, sourcing. Leah. Okay, cool. Um. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! We just doubled this shit. Hey, hey, hey Kev. Um, I I fucking told you guys. I fucking told you when I started the stream up. I, there's okay. Either way, I have a redemption to do. So those of you who are just joining me for, um, from uh, from KF Logan's. By the way, if you're not already following Kev, go fucking follow the shout out link. But I have a redemption to do just now. So welcome. You're gonna get an introduction to the channel. Real, real men wear skirts. There we go. Not a kilt. Straight up skirt. Twitchy. Straight up skirt. Yeah. Bros in skirts. It's a thing. <clears throat> it, nonsense. If I don't hold it down, well, yeah. We got, we got, we got to end up with a whole full on Marilyn Monroe situation going on. Oh yes. And the nails, um, it, the feet are done too, but you know, um, oh yes, it would be very TOS, uh, meat based salad. Um, did, did, did I make your PP feel funny? Is that what happened there? Um, exactly. Kev, you get it. You fucking Kev gets it. Fucking men wear whatever the fuck they want, as do women, as do NBs, right? Part of being an adult is realizing other people's opinions don't really matter on a whole lot of shit. You want to paint your nails, paint your nails. You want to fucking wear a skirt, wear a skirt. You want to wear panties, wear panties. You want to wear a thong, wear a thong. You want to wear fucking coveralls, wear coveralls. You want to fucking wear whatever. It doesn't fucking matter. It's just clothes, man. It's just clothes. Skirts are boss, big part of my masculinity. Skirts are hot on men, that is all. Um, Kez, Kez, oh, Kez, you're going to be worn out for sure. You think this is worn out, Kez. Um, Kez, take care of yourself. 
Um, <laughs> nonsense. People are trash. Why well, care about their opinions? Eventually, the sun will explode. So who gives a fuck? Um. Uh, oh, uh, Joey. No, I have acetone. I have. Uh, you know. Yeah, I can. I can fix these if necessary. Um, speaking of language, skirt and shirt also come from the same word. Grammar and glamour also come from the same word. Interesting. Um, yeah, sure, 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 Kaz. That's why. For sure. For sure, sure, sure. Um, oh, thank you, Cassian. Uh, we're doing a, we're doing a, a, a dark blue sort of thing, um, this week. I, I alternate between pinks and blues, pinks and blues, pinks and blues, just different hues and, and, you know, different tones. Um, um, so yeah, next, next, next week should be some sort of pink or maybe a week from there. I, I've been running two weeks. I've been getting two weeks out of them. <clears throat> DJ's rising. Um, <laughs> I sharpened my nails to a point for the first time and it's cool as fuck. Um, it's hilarious you call it varnish and on that side of the pond. We call it polish over here. Um, yeah, meat-based salad. The fact that it annoys you is half the reason. Um, the fact that, like, I, what does it matter? What, 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 how does it affect you? Ah, okay. Fair enough, Joey. Like, how is it? Why, why do you even give a shit, man? Like, legitimate question. I'm asking you. Meet base out. Stop paying attention to chat. Pay attention to me. It's just you and me, man, here. It's just you and me. Have the conversation. Why does it matter? Like, in what way, shape, or form does this... You don't like gay people. Did I say I was gay? For all you know, I'm just a dude wearing nail polish and skirts. Is it gay to be gay? I mean, I am. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Dick, dick is, dick is amazing. Um. Yeah, caboose. Fair enough, right? Um. Um, so straight people disgust me, me based. I'm, I'm not going around fucking telling them to knock it the fuck off. Like what, 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 what do you think? What part of your ideology or philosophy uh, dictates, uh, d informs your opinion that you have any say in this whatsoever? sense um no one wants to see gay people in thongs doing weird shit in public i do they do I am in my own house. Yeah. You're already outnumbered. So leave me, me best leave. See, this is, this is what freedom of choice is about. You dumb fuck. If you don't like what's on the channel, change the channel. You don't censor the channel. You change the channel. This is what freedom of speech and freedom of choice are about, you ignorant fuck.
like literally this is this is what the first amendment's about and yet you're still here you're adorable see this is this is why you're getting attacked with the sort of like do you did i make your pp pee -pee feel weird sort of stuff because you refuse to leave see you're actually here for it and as much as you complain about it you're still here for it so you're getting something out of it Methinks you doth protest too much. Did my father molest me? No, my father was... He was not a... He wasn't an emotionally kind man to my mother, but no, he never laid a hand on me. <laughs> ah, messed. Fair enough. I've only got 3,000 to go till I get a timeout. <laughs> himself, there's people you can ask. You can you can do a praxis himself and just be like, who's got the 30,000? Oh, Kez. <laughs> Jay, I, wanted to, I want a definite answer to how Kai is an abomination and against who. So, did they leave? I think they left. I don't know. Uh, 10 minutes, Libra. It lasts 10 minutes. I could be convinced to make it 30 minutes for the cost. Yeah, <laughs> you eat them shellfish and wear mixed fabrics, you abomination. Um, I think the mixed fabric so was re uh, like was a reference to wool and cotton or hemp and, hemp and wool or something like that. Um, it's been a minute. You're an abomination, Kai. Badass. Um, thank you, Puka. Oh, they threatened to kill all gay people, so they got banned. Oh, all right. Mitra, I didn't see that. Thank you for the update, though. Um... Oh, God. Uh, Mistopheles, uh, um, I'm deleting that message just, just for reasons. Just for reasons. That isn't a critique of the message. Um, yeah. That it's, in no way, shape, or form is that deletion a critique of what you wrote. Um, I, I just for other reasons, I'm pulling it. Um, I'm wearing a cashmere cotton blend t-shirt right now because I'm a heathen. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh. Just crossing my legs. <laughs> um, yeah, that it, it's, it's always fascinating to me that the shit that, uh, okay. So for those of you who are new, um, For those of you who knew, basically I had I, I COVID and all that sort of stuff. My bougie ass just wanted to go to the spa. I wanted a spa day. So like, I don't know, like a month and a half ago or something like that now. I booked an entire spa day. Five and a half hours at the spa, right? Um, fucking massage and dermabrasion and facial and like head and neck and arms and fucking mani petty and this sorts of stuff right so i'm doing i'm doing a whole fucking spa day and i'm doing a mani petty and the tech nail tech she says you know you want do you want color she, she's just assuming that i was i was going to go for a clear coat or something like that i'm like no we're fucking here with sense of whimsy let's do this right let's put some color on and i got this really nice blue i picked out a really fucking vibrant shade of blue and I come on that Monday on stream and I tell, I tell my community straight up. I'm like, look, don't think that this is going to be a regular thing. It's a result of a spa day. It's too much of a pain in the ass to do my nails. We had such an influx of angry chuds just molding over the fingernails that I was like, well, now I have to do it. Now I have to. 
right? Like I, I'm amused by it. It's pretty. I, I'm I'm okay with it. But it, you know, it, honestly, 50% of why I continue to paint my fingernails or get my fingernails painted, as this uh, has been the case, spite is a hell of a motivator. Um, is because of these dumb fucks that come in here. It's such, it's, dude, I sit here, I just, you know, I'll get a, like a screenshot going like that or something for the Twitch thumbnail. And they'll they'll just see the fingernail polish and they just come in hot because of it. It's just, look at this, look at this degenerate queer with his fucking nail polish. You want to be a girl, don't you? Shit like that, right? And it's like, how, how do I not continue doing this? This is too easy. This is too easy. And then you add in the skirt meta on top of it. Are you shitting me? Yeah, of course. Of course I kept doing it. <laughs> Spite is the cheat code to motivation. It really is. Um, <laughs> queer baiting. Um, yeah, it, it's... <laughs> Kez, um, skirt meta, um, Kez, the, the context I gave them was that one, oh god, uh, Mistopheles, I, I do have some white t-shirts that are literally at my waist, like they are, they are sh kind of short t-shirts, they don't rise up over the belly, but they are, they're right there and they're kind of effeminate. Um, yeah, the context I gave them, Kez, was that, um, the details are not mine to share, but I have, I have enjoyed the afternoon torturing you, and that the only thing that I will add to that is that for those that had been around and are, were aware, Kez has found himself into a situation similar to which Kai was describing having found himself in over the weekend. So the ones that could put two and two together at least are in the ballpark. Um, Psycom, what's up, man? Hashtag Team Joey. Is the full camp uh, Kai coming to stream one day? Um, oh, um, Jay, I, there is no full camp version of me. Like, I, I don't have that iteration. Um, yeah. Uh, so many things that are... How many times do I have to download that song? Um, so many things that are considered... There we go. Considered for the girls, women, were invented, made for men, so it's ridiculous for the judge for... Oh, Duchess. I try to, I try to contextualize it for them occasionally. Um, that like, you know, if they really get their, their knickers in a twist, uh, if they get their panties in a bunch over it, I say it's shit like, you know, Alexander of Macedonia fucking conquered the known world wearing a skirt, right? The Roman legions took over entire civilizations wearing skirts, Celtic warriors, skirts, Spartans, skirts, Egyptian pharaohs, skirts, Chinese emperors, skirts, fucking high heels were invented for men pink was the color of ma masculinity up until fairly recently right like this is it's just it's a stupid idea and i i don't i come at it from an entirely different point of view i i just you know i mean i don't know but it, i could give a wild guess made the sven embarrass uh because <laughs> uh yeah, it, it's it, I, I for those of you who want the spiel, I come at it as a transhumanist. Um, I'm a gender nihilist and I'm a transhumanist, right? I'm a transhumanist first, and not the weird eugenicsy kind. The kind that like I want, I want to, I want to be able to change my gender via smartphone app. And this isn't like I oh I I I, I yearn to be a, you know a, a woman or a non-binary or something like that, right? This is pure greed it's greed it's greed 
I am greedy for the human experience, right? I have done extreme sports, psychedelic drugs, ex extreme forms of sexual practices. I, I, I've, you know, read the insane things, seen the insane things, done the insane things. Um, I ran these parts, we call them edge runners. I am an edge runner. I love edge runners. I love the people who exist on the outskirts. I've traveled. I have, you know, talked to the criminal and the mentally unsound and you know all these sorts of things right like i i am i'm a glutton for the human experience and transhumanist is that next experience is you know interchangeable parts and nanotechnologies and altered states of consciousness and augmented realities and stuff like that right if i could push a button on my smartphone and be uh be, be a biological female for a for a weekend or two or a month who the fuck knows if it were that simple to change yeah you better believe i'd do it like come on and so I come at like wearing skirts and nail polish and stuff like that as a transhumanist plus a gender nihilist. I, I think that like for those of us on the left that are already in the like gender as a social construct territory, we should be speed running this for the purposes of talking to some chud right wing social conservative fucking moron. Gender matters. Gender matters. There's marginalized groups we have to protect. But here talking amongst ourselves, we know this shit doesn't matter. Right? So we should all be gender nihilists to one degree or another. We should be speed running this shit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Male, female, non-binary, whatever the, whatever the fuck you want. I don't care. Express yourself however you wish. And really the labels we put on it are up to you. You just tell me what you, what you desire and I'll adhere to it. I got no, it's no skin off my back. So yeah, like that's, that's sort of how I approach all this stuff is as a transhumanist plus a gender nihilist. Like who gives a shit? And I want all of the experiences. Um, let's see. Let me scroll back. <laughs> yeah, Libra, not the weird eugenics-y kind, though. Um, hey, uh, fucking Zippy, you got there. You're a glutton for the human experience. Yep. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Fucking... All right, cool. Post uh, Rosa, post gang rise up. Um, post uh, po post left, post uh, post anarchist. Um, yeah, I I, I I want it all. I I don't I don't see I, I I just I don't understand. I get like I guess this is this is probably how like I should have realized a long time ago that I'm not strictly cisgendered and I never really thought about it that way just because I'm primarily just a dude right like uh, the the neo pronoun is a demi boy or a demi man right like I I I I'll 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 wander but I primarily am just a dude right at the end of the day but I've never like I've always thought about like wouldn't it be interesting to be a woman for like a week or a month or like a year or whatever, like you to trade out sexualities and genders and understand, like put yourself in other people's shoes and live as something else. Like I, I I've always been of that mind and it, it weirds me out when people are like, you know, Oh no, I am what I am and I would never do anything. It's like, Hmm. I, okay. I mean, it's a perfectly valid position. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that you're any less of a human being. I just, to, to my brain, that's weird. Like, I, I would, I wanna, if you give me the option to experience it, I wanna experience it. But that's just me. Yeah, yeah, redacted. I, I, I was made aware of that, uh, of that person who did not understand what post-leftism was at all. Oh no, the Juggalos are fucking, the Juggalos are kind of based. They always have been. And also their makeup completely destroys facial recognition technologies. It absolutely destroys facial recognition algorithms. So the Juggalos have a couple of things going on for them. <laughs> so I'm a dude, she's a dude, you're a dude, because we're all dudes. Uh, Libra, no, no. Uh, <laughs> oh Jesus, the Kappa. Okay. 
Yeah. Um, Easy Living Media, thank you for the follow. Um, oh, and uh, J.E. Beck, thank you for the follow. And Cassian Eves, thank you for those follows as well. Um, if y'all are still here. Fucking. Yeah. Yeah, the Juggalos are fucking well ahead of us. A lot of us. Attaboy, Caboose. Uh, no. No, I don't think I have. Um, no. No, I haven't, Mitre. But that, yeah. Uh, yeah, you could... <laughs> Juggalos are on a higher level. Um, yeah, you could use ICP face paint. It, it actually defeats facial recognition algorithms. It's amazing. Um, okay. Sourcing went to the trouble to type that out. I'm going to read it. Um, I've always been on that edge as well, but I'm not convinced that this isn't the case for everyone. I struggle to imagine that people are actually 100% attracted to one gender and purely align themselves to one gender. It's always been easy for me to go with the expectation of society, but I'm also happy to go outside that too, especially like those with stronger problems than me to ha uh, than me to have that freedom. Fair enough, sir. I, I am, I'm, I'm attracted to s traditionally masculine, like cisgendered males. Right, like the dudes I have always, not always, the, the, the dudes that I've always dated or been with for any length of time are traditionally masculine or cisgendered. Um, I've, I've fucked a few people that were, you know, slightly effeminate, um, tops, always tops. Um, but yeah, for the most part, I, my attraction to is pretty, yeah. Um, yeah, who's got the Hassan arms? Uh, who's got the Hassan emotes? Do do Mitre a solid and put the Hassan uh, arms on his emote. If you've got, if anybody in the community is sub to me as well as Hassan, I know somebody is because I've seen y'all fuckers do it before. Um, for Mitre, do the Hassan arms with the the meat the emote. Um, masked cow and bug eyes, uh, bug eye welded goggles for that Jesus. Um, I've always kind of want to wear a uh, fucking cowl. Hey, um, oh, yoga pants with a boot cut. <laughs> what the fuck, Cassidy? Oh, those are a thing. Interesting. Um, Ah, you're welcome. Yeah, I've never really, I've never owned or worn a cowl. I, I'm sorry, I can't get my past, get myself past the fucking edge lord wannabe gamer assassin creed bullshit. <laughs> Good bad internet left. Thank you for the sub. Um, all right, so let's you all wanna you all wanna get your rage hard ons going? We can do some headlines if you want. Ugh. Nice me Trey. I'll give him a look. <laughs> Doom <laughs> Caboose. Um I need to do headlines with people because I can't handle them alone. Um, I got distracted. Yeah, I can't imagine what was distracting you, Kez. Um, interesting, Cassie. So here's the last one, uh, the the top of the list, right? So the last, one, the last one I added. You're gonna, you're. Um, you're going to love this. You're going to love this. Two NYPD cops have been fired for having sex with a troubled 15-year-old. Okay, this is the headline. They they were fired for having sex with a troubled 15-year-old. 
I think there's a word for what we want to, they're, they're, they're looking for. There's a word I think we could probably use there um, in place of having sex with. Yeah. yeah a penis related incident. Yeah. 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 Two NYPD officers fired for raping a 15-year-old child is the headline. By the way, not arrested, not charged, fired. An officer-involved pedophilia event. I love that, by the way. Oh, no, 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 see, Duchess, here's the issue. There's an issue of whether she could consent even. The, the troubled part that they tried to bury with. Okay. Yeah. She may not have been able to consent either way. Like, like not legally. Like, okay, she's statutory. She can't consent. But even if she were 18, she may not be able to consent. Somebody in, in the middle of a mental health crisis, even if they're 30, if you're in the middle of a psychotic break, you cannot consent to sex. So, yeah, like this is, this is sort of a double issue at this point. Yeah, like it's, it's, yeah. <clears throat> Legally or mentally, she can't consent. Yes, exactly, Rosa. Like this is this is a, this is a double issue. Um, and and again, as I pointed out, fired, not arrested, not charged, not convicted, fired. For those of you who are new, you're going to see that I, I laugh at a lot of this sort of stuff. It's it's classical theater training. You laugh or you cry. I, I choose to laugh. I, I have to. I have to. I have to. Or else... I'd probably violate TOS no, like 19 times a stream. We talk about some pretty dark topics sometimes. So I, ha I have to just, yes, gallows humor rumble. I, I have to um, <clears throat> occupy that headspace or else it's pretty fucked. Um, uh, yes, uh, Mistopheles fucking, yeah, the qualified immunity. There's a whole host of issues that we could be addressing. <sighs> um Hey Rev Pizza 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 Pig Pig Uh thank you for the reset Rev. Um Maybe they raped her by accident. Yeah, that's I'm sure I'm sure that's all that happened, right? They were they were detaining somebody who was in the middle of a mental health crisis and you know, one thing led to another. The cop slipped in a puddle. He he tripped, he fell, and he raped her repeatedly in the back seat. Actually, I think they forced oral sex. It was it was the actually happened. So, yeah. Yeah. So, it, you know, it happens. It it, ha it happens to the best of the cops. Yeah, both both cops slip simultaneously. Yes, exactly. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to watch that on stream. Um, what is this this person, this this vile human being's name again? I, uh... No, no.
Give me one sec. Because there is a headline that is just brutal. Yoseline Hoffman. Oh, is there a Rev? <laughs> Fuck it, A eh, Rev. <laughs> um. Oh, I'm sure they are textures. I'm sure they are. Um. Yoseline Hoffman, the fall of a Mexican YouTuber. Known as Yostop, and Y-O-S-S-T-O-P. Well, her last video, YouTube video got uploaded on... Uh, uh, no, I'm sorry. Her last video posted on to her Twitter account on Tuesday. Um, because Mexico City's prosecutor's office sent agents to her house to arrest her. Why? Well... Charging her with the crime of child pornography. She stored, reproduced, and publicized a video of a gang rape of a child who suffered this incident in 2018, May of 2018. She replayed the video and did a react video to it on YouTube. Her name was Yoseline Hoffman. She was a Mexican YouTuber, um, some dumb. She did a react video to the gang rape of a child in which she added color commentary such as calling her a whore and, oh, what was my favorite? This is, this is a whore with questionable values who deserved and wanted it. So, credit where credit's due, because apparently YouTube and Twitter didn't do shit for shit. The Mexican, uh, the Mexico City Prosecutor's Office said, wait, she did a React video of what? Yeah, that's distributing child pornography, bitch. So they raided her house and arrested her for it. Rev, the victim is suing. Yes. Yeah. A truly vile human being. Right? A truly vile human being. Uh, nonsense. How old is she? I don't know off the top of my head. Hang on. Let me see if I can find out. Oh, FYI, the um, the YouTuber had 5.6 million subscribers and the video had 10 million views. The victim was at the age of assault, 16 years of age. Four men violently sexually assaulted her. Um... Let's see. I don't know how old this person is. Late 20s, early 30s, based off of photography. Just based off the photos of her. Late 20s, early 30s. Yeah, Hoff uh, Hoffman, there you go. <clears throat> if only it was t on the TOS, right, Sumdum? Like, if only there was something that they could have done about it, right? Oh, good job, YouTube. Good job, Twitter. Fucking. <laughs> but hey, didn't you hear? Twitter's pairing up with what? The fucking. Who is it? The ADL or whoever? Um. <laughs> Papa Grendel. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Um. I forget who they're. The. Uh, uh, Southern Defense League. Or. Uh, I, I forget who Twitter's pairing up with. And. Um. AD, uh, the fucking anti government. Um entities will uh, will receive extra at uh, uh, attention from them yeah so <laughs> oh Cassidy that's adorable looking looking mad cute in that photo Cassidy 
Um, so here's another one. Not as bad. Not as triggering. Not as like just absolutely disgusting. But also, holy fuck. Um, yeah, I think so, Caboose. Bluffton, uh, South Carolina Police Department is fa facing multiple lawsuits. Um, it seems that this entire police department was falsely arresting people based off of below legal limit DUI breathalyzer tests. They'd have you blow into the tests. And then they'd say you were over the legal limit and arrest you for a DUI and falsify the evidence. Yeah. Uh, uh, just FYI, this had been going on for years, apparently. Like, years. Um, and, fun fact... The South Carolina Department of Public Safety awarded the Bluffton Police Department Agency of the Year in 2019 for, quote, its high number of DUI arrests. Uh, <laughs> yep uh zippy that would be my go-to all the all of their arrests need expunged you can't i'm sorry if they were willing to falsify evidence for duis in mass like that and turn it into a systemic program all of your convictions are suspect i would vacate all convictions for probably five to ten years i'd probably go back a decade for the police department and say all convictions for the police department have to be vacated expunge the records leah again thank you for the gift sub um and congrats congratulate congratulations for uh, only facts um Duchess, drive safely. <laughs> Premarital. Um, so, here's a fun one. Who knows what shot spotter is? Me toad, right on it. Shot spotter is a um, a, a grid of uh, electronically controlled microphones that are automatedly uh, that are automated and monitored through a central command system that are supposed to detect and triangulate gunshots in an urban environment. Yep, some dumb. Chicago's big with it. Um. It costs approximately $5 million a year to just run the program, right? Licensing costs, that sort of thing, right? $5 million a year just to run this, all right? Doesn't mean installation, doesn't mean anything else, right? It's super expensive to do this shit. Um, so when Sheriff, we used to have got arrested in such tampering with evidence. I think it was some of the so-called <laughs> massacre that happened sort of close to me back in 16. This whole thing I'm from articles, if you want to look into it, his son is gay too, and people wanted, to, oh, wanted me to date him. That was fun. It could have been interesting. All right, so here you go. <clears throat> in Chicago, a 25-year-old man named uh, Seferin Herring was murdered. He was shot in the head and died at St. Bernard Hospital two days later. The man who dropped him off was named Michael Williams. Chicago police arrested Williams and charged him with murder. The damning evidence? Williams' car was parked at the 6300 block of South Stony Island at exactly 11.46 p.m. Thanks to Shot Spotter, a gunshot detection program, Police were able to recognize the gunshot at that location at the time the Safarian Herring was there. 
The only problem? There was no gunshot there. Whatsoever. That night, uh, Kez, sleep well. Take care of yourself. Uh, take so take care of yourself, Kez. Um, have fun. Um, that night, nineteen shot spotter sensors detected a quote percussive sound at eleven forty six p.m., determining the location to be fifty seven hundred South Lakeshore Drive a mile away from the site that the prosecutors claim Herring was killed. This is after evidence was found and unearthed by his public de by Williams's public defender. The program recognized the noise successfully as fireworks. But wait, later that night, it was reclassified as a gunshot manually months later the noise recorded at 11 to 47 uh, 1146 p.m at 5700 south lakeshore drive was moved into post processing to the 6300 block of south stony island right where williams's car would be it was moved by a shot spotter analyst Here's what the public defender discovered. A pattern of this occurring. They are Chicago had been using the shot spotter post processing techniques and a post processing analyst uh, uh, analysis to relocate and retime the shots to where they needed them to pin crimes on other people. For those of the, uh, for those of us, yeah, you should cover up their assassinations, rapes, etc. For those of us that have been following the Chicago Police Department for any number of years, you of course are not surprised. Um, Chicago ran a actual black site torture facility for a couple of decades, in which thousands of people passed through in one degree or another. Right, this is not that surprising, quite frankly. But just another example of how a surveillance police state can be utilized and manipulated to otherwise fuck the populace. So, you know, just something. Just something you should know. Swede. Oh, I'm sorry, Swede. You should have been there. You should have been there for Kez's stream earlier today, Swede. We were having a right old time. Um, If you have nothing to... Uh, if you do nothing wrong, you have nothing to worry about my ass. Exactly, Zippy. Exactly. Um... Oh, all right. It's bad. <laughs> he wanted community service. That's hilarious, Sven. I beg of you to impose community service. God. Good full day with your oldest. Morning at the zoo, afternoon at the pool. Look at you, fucking Swede. Look at you. Uh, uh, what is the name of the gun recognition scam? It is Shot Spotter. S H O T S P O T T E R. Shot Spotter. Um. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna read you this headline, and we're not we're not gonna get into it. It's it's not worth getting into, um, but Israel launches maximum pressure campaign against Ben and Jerry's. 
Oh, talk about some snowflakery. Boo hoo. The ice cream company won't fucking put a manufacturing facility in apartheid fucking Palestine. <laughs> and now we're going to fucking go to war with them over it. I, I just, you know. Oh, this is this was an interesting one here. Um, y'all want to be annoyed here? This is this isn't gonna like get your rage. Well, <clears throat> you've probably already got your rage hard on going. So this will this will probably you know this this may help you get over get over the edge. This may help finish you off. Um, this happened here. For those of you who don't know where here is, it's Las Vegas, Nevada. This happened here. How are you? I don't know if anybody told you, I, but this uh, senior center is getting ready to open up next week with kids in it. Okay. All right, so if there are kids present in the park and you don't have kids, you can't be around, you, you can't be loitering in the presence of children. You understand that? Where am I doing wrong, sir? I'm studying. Okay. Am I being harassed right now? What is the problem? Um, I'm doing homework. Is this a regular park? Because there's a slide and everything here. This is a regular public okay, park. Okay, I'm talking about next week. Not right now. I'm talking about next week. I won't even, I'll go to school, too. I'm a college student. Okay. I won't even be here next week. Can you stop? I just want to study. Okay. Okay. Ma'am, do, do, I, do, I, do I know you, ma'am? I don't know. Do you? No, I don't. So I'm telling you what's well, going on. I'm not being harassed for studying in the park. I just want to All right, ma'am, this is what's going on. So this way you can film what I'm saying to you. Yeah, All right, I'm next week. Okay, hold on. No, you're not being harassed. Next week, there are going to be children present in this park. Okay. I cannot have if you if you are a homeless individual or not. not I cannot. Okay, and if you're not homeless, then don't worry about it. But the fact is, even if you are are not homeless, you cannot be present in the park if you do not have children. If you have no business. Wrong. Wrong. Yes, the person talking is a cop. Wrong. Um, this has been investigated. They are wrong. We have four parks that are classified as children's parks in, in the greater Clark County area. Those parks have specialty rule sets for them, admittedly so. This park is not one of them. It's a law. Do you understand that? So I'm not harassing you. I'm letting you know that. So this way next week, when those children are present, because if you had children... You would not you're want not what? You're not me, but you're getting closer and closer to me. Okay, I'm not getting closer and closer. I moved so this way you can get me in frame. Because you yeah, want to film me, I'm, I'm allowing you to get... Know what's going on. And I'm, and I'm, exp and I, and I'm explaining it, but you continue, you, continue, you continue to interrupt me as I'm explaining it. I'm not getting closer to you as I get closer to you. I'm not interrupting you as I interrupt you. I'm not harassing you as I harass you. I won't be at the park next week, so... Okay, and then know. and then that's and that's fine, yeah, but I'm saw, letting you walk know. I told everybody, you're not singled out. We just um, told everybody that's still. in the park. But still what? So, so hold on. So, so, so what's the would, did I, would I have known that? Would I have known that if I had not spoke to you? After I told you, you still continue to explain. Yes, okay, so, right. so this way you know for next week. I just go to Sunset Park. Follow me there. Okay, there. great. So that's Thank crazy. you. Thank it's you not crazy. If you were a parent, if you were a parent... And you had children I'm getting ready to go there. Okay, but I, so, so then why then why are you working on being difficult, which is what because you're working on? I know how the cops are. So uh, I'm no, you don't know how the cops are because I'm obviously, just, obviously I'm you. And I'm and I am. And did I'm I did? I, no one is harassing you for studying, said, and no one is even harassing you. You can continue to study. You can continue to film. But I'm telling you what's going on for next week. But but evidently you decide. I came over to talk to you. Regular, and then you decided that you were going to change the, con oh, the conduct of our conduct. No, no, you were being rude, ma'am. Ma'am, you were being rude initially. And you still talking to me. Well, because you are, because you are the rude one, ma'am. You too. And I'm glad. 
I'm glad you now are uh, less ignorant than you were before, because now you know the law. Uh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Because no, 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 I'm not. And you can continue to play this game. Oh uh, no, that's that's an ignorant statement right there. That is totally ignorant because that has not even been the contact we have. When, but but no, you continue to talk to me. So I'm a free human being also, ma'am, and you continue to harass me. Fact, uh, facts, yeah, most of our cops actually are transplants. There's very few natives here. You are. You are right now. Look at, look at, I'm walking away and you're continuing to run your mouth. You are continuing to run your mouth. Five. Watch as I walk away and continue to run my mouth while I accuse you of continuing to run your mouth. 115, Mascoli, 5115. You have a good day. Yeah, Cassie, that is funny that the partner is like driving away. <laughs> it's like, it's out. Uh. It's it, it, it. later, Caboose. Take care of yourself. Um, Maddie, thank you for the follow. <laughs> Don't wear a mask because apparently a don't wear a mask. Um, thank you. Uh, thank you for the follow and good to know that you are in favor of facial recognition and um, governmental surveillance and corporate surveillance. Um, everyone don't want everybody say hi to don't wear a mask. I don't know who, who that is, but um, welcome. Welcome to chat. Um, welcome to the channel. And it's it's nice to see somebody standing up for the oppressed globalist surveillance hierarchy. They're such a downtrodden group, and you know it's 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 brave of you to come out and say you should not wear a mask. I favor facial recognition technologies. That's that's terribly brave of you. I, I'm I you, your your commitment to um, antithetical um, freedoms is just admirable beyond belief. I think that's the real cave. Um, let me check though. Let me, where's the, yes, that's the real cave. <laughs> uh, a lot of gossip. <laughs> it's just good to know. Uh, Kaiser, good to know. Um, A Leah, um, brand, basically brand new, but already yeah, already rocking three gift subs. Look at you, Leah. Thank you kindly. Um, oh, uh, okay. So completely shifting gears. Um, XQC got himself banned. Uh, for streaming the Olympics like a fucking moron got a live DMCA takedown and got his account banned um just you know twitch news uh zippy a, a, a sweet take care of yourself XQC um fairly well known streamer Yeah, don't don't play the Olympics. You can't even go near the Olympics in stream. I'm not shitting you. I talked about this um, last week. Like somebody, a streamer, two streamers, two Japanese streamers, 
One was in a park near one of the Olympic stadiums, got a DMCA takedown that um, Twitch fucking pull, uh, pulled their account. Another one was outside one of the stadiums, got a DMCA takedown for, uh, for streaming at near a stadium. Absolutely ridiculous. Jay, take care of yourself. <laughs> Good rev. Um, yeah, it, it's it, it, you know, holy, what the fuck, Leah? Holy shit, man! Yeah, the bot's gonna have a little uh, like a conniption here. Yeah, because the bot is trying to, like, do some thank yous to you, like, 32 times in a row. And it's just going to time its own self out. Um, Leah, thank you for the 32, now in total 35, gift subs. It's okay, Leah. It's okay. It'll, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um... Wallata, Ribeye, Menu Frog, Null Mage, John Dunbar, Three, in, uh, three Intel, uh, Anthromancy, Ricky the Great, uh, Dao De, Dao De Ching, but Dao De Tings, uh, Patronum, Blazelord, Tail, uh, Rabbit got one, Rocks and Docks, and Overlord Punk, Nintendo, uh, Nintendo, um, Steve with a Q, Trashbag Theater, Ragnagog, uh, Me Toad, Crystal Gears, Gola, uh, Gola Zero, uh, uh, Weeble Girl, Zakabaka, uh, Avocado Flight, Cherry, Cherry, um, Wilh Wilhelm, Akashoga, Platomatic, Moskinux, Possiblix, Just Bender, and a Pisces Um, congratulations, Jesus Christ! And again, uh, Leah, thank you. Yeah, like holy shit, Leah. Um, and oh, we're doing a capitalism. Like, it, I don't know why that doesn't kick off a hype train. Thirty-two fucking gift subs because it's only from one person. Bullshit fucking um and then puka thank you for the gift sub as well congratulations fen uh puka threw you a gift sub uh, oh what do we got what do we got um Oh, all right. Well, that, that's that, that makes sense actually. Uh, victorious. Um, there's no need to use the the EUA if you've got FDA approval coming down the pike. So, oh fuck yeah! All right, just got a package rescheduled too. Um. <laughs> oh Jesus, Cave, Cave. I, I I already know it's really you. Um, but yeah, that definitely is, that is definitely proof. That's, that's as good as an ID, uh, for you, Cave. Puka, take care of yourself. Stay safe. Um. Yeah, that, that's, that's, if you want to know whether it's the real Cave, there you go. That's that's the kind of writing only Cave can produce. It's it's as good as a fingerprint around these parts. Um, Jesus Christ, I'm still tripping on that, uh, Leah. Is it? There's a there's a limit. You are now, Leah. You are now like the 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 title holder. You gave the most gift subs at the same time. You gave more gift subs simultaneously than anybody else has ever given on the channel. Um, a few people have given in the 25 range, like simultaneously, but you, you, yeah, you just, you fucking just rolled on right by that one. So bad props and thank you. Um, 
Yes, uh, Rosa, there was a fake cave. Um, if Rosa, do you know who the... Um, nobody has... Uh, Mitre, you still hold the title for the most s- simultaneous bits given. Um, yeah, nobody nobody has beaten you on the biddies donation yet, Mitre. You, you, you hold that crown still. Um... Yes, um, and yes, there was there was a fake. Yeah, if, if you're fi- Rosa, if you're familiar with that, like the douchebag MLA grammar Nazi or whatever the fuck that dumbass was, um, who made the rounds. Um, yeah, Le- Leah, you, that's that's Mitre's current crown. <laughs> yep, I I had it set at, at at literally like uh I had it set that high because I figured I could prevent people from like giving money. If I set the bit donation that high, and then this motherfucker comes along and just destroys it, like I was like, "Fuck it," so I'll drop the bit donation down. Um, <laughs> it's still go- thirty six now. Uh, basically in one sitting. Thank you, thank you again, Leah. Um, yep, spite is a wonderful motivator. It really is. Um, and yeah, the hype train is close, but somebody other than Leah or Puka need to do something for that to kick. Um, okay, so Rosa, yes, that person was impersonating a uh, cave. Uh, Huckleberry, <laughs> Grimpy, uh, there's the hype. Uh, there's the hype train kicked off. Uh, Grimpy, thank you for the biddies, by the way, my man. Um. This channel is about... What is this channel about? Well, right now this channel is about capital, doing a capitalism, apparently. Um, Herodimus. What's up, Herodimus? Um, this channel is about anarchist education. I, I, am an anar- I, I am an anarchist. I have been an anarchist for many, many, many years. I am educated in the direct action. I have, uh, I have experience in the streets as well as um, a decent if I may say so myself, a decent amount of knowledge concerning the philosophies and theory surrounding anarchism um, as a whole, as a, as a milieu, as a community, um, and the various iterations of it therein. So I do a whole lot of education surrounding anarchist topics, mutual aid, dual power structures, these sorts of things. But we also discuss economics, theology, and, co- and contemporary issues, as well as we're a bunch of de- degenerate fucks. Um, so, you know, occasionally we will dip into our degeneracy um, and have a grand old time while reveling in it (laughs) yes joey um let's see so who's the hype conductor grumpy is fucking the hype conductor jesus christ um Uh, no, no cave. It's, yeah, it's the MLA fucking, it's the dude who goes around yelling about the singular usage of they, them pronouns. And they're just couching, they're, they're using bad faith in organic cover to, uh, protect their transphobic position, right? They're, they're actually just some dude who's got his panties in a twist about, uh, about, uh, tra- transgender people. And, <laughs> Uh, hey leah if you want to come on air and have a conversation you might you basically bought your way onto the show if you want to jump in discord and like talk to me or something by all means and if you're not already a member of the discord community i don't know why you aren't (laughs) so again thank you (laughs) uh hundred and nine percent of a level five hype train because leah fucking just big dick energy big dick energy the shit out of that <laughs> 30 33 then 34 with the the the, the gift subs and then 9900 bitties 
Uh, well, exclamation discord, Leah, or the, the link is down below in the profile. Uh, <laughs> uh, hey, Joey, this is why we should counter every time we hear people complain about shit like less and fewer. It starts with pedantry and then it ends with transphobia. Um, yeah, your metaphorical dick is, is fucking pretty big, Leah. It's pretty big. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sven, of course, put it in chat, Sven. Um, <laughs> it's fucking <laughs> so the hype the, the bit the hype train leader is definitely leah uh, it's funny it didn't get, take you for the gift subs um oh leah 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 what are we gonna do with you <laughs> uh, I knew my previous guest had timed out. Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess that's that's what that's about, I suppose, right? Um, so, yep, 25 gift sub. <laughs> yep, um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, definitely one of those streams. Um, <laughs> oh, you fucked up the jokes, man. You fucked up the joke. Uh, I, uh, Rosa just did the hype train. The, the, the timer ran out on it and that sort of thing. So there is level four at uh, level five hype train courtesy of Leah. If you happen to participate in that, I think a couple of people are going to get some emotes out of that um, for sure. There it is. It's Adia that can do it. Hey, Adia. Can you put the ar the Hassan arms on the meat tray uh, emote for meat? Meat was meat was wanting to see that. Um, there we go. There, there you go, meat tray. Yeah. Um, so hard to work on music while I'm listening to your show. I'm like, when did I put that synth in? Um. Hey, me, hey, meat. Am I? Is my audio coming across fine? Can you do the? Uh, can you sound clip me? Um, just right off of my stream, because if that's the case, then we could do we could do a quick audio clip. So I don't. Okay, cool. Um, I don't. I don't know what I want to say, but um, start start recording. Um, Curio, I hate to see you go. Don't worry though. I'll keep a lord's inch waiting for you here. Um, so long, man. And thanks for all the fish. There you go, Mitre. There's something. Um, why Fauci wants us to make vaccine prototype for, um, happy to be a part of it. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're, um, we're gonna we're gonna raid into curio on thursday night um f as i understand i don't i don't want to get into it it's not my information to really like put out there but curio's stepping away from the show for a little bit the show's gonna continue mitre's gonna be at the helm um but curio curio needs a curio needs a minute um for personal reasons so yeah, Curio's going to be stepping to stepping uh, stepping back for a little bit. So Thursday we're going to raid into the show, and I'm I'll jump on the air with Curio and um, and meet, and we'll uh, we'll give it a good old send off. Ah. <sighs> um. Uh, Sven Curio is an OG. Cur Curio is, um, Curio is pre Twitch community. All right, Curio goes back to the olden days. Um, he's good people. He's very good people. Um, <laughs> what the fuck is going on in chat? 
Ah, uh, people. All right, hang on. Let me scroll back. Yes, Fen, you know you want a piece of this old man ass, so fucking what are you talking about? Um... <laughs> Satanically opposed. Um, and while I'm at it, you might I might as well. Uh, for those of you who are like new, uh, one of the things we do in the community that you may be interested in in joining us Friday nights after the stream, we do a bad movie night over on the Discord server. It is a grand old time. We get drunk, we get high, we get various states of inebriation and just goofy as fuck, and we watch terrible, terrible movies that are absolutely amazing to watch. Um, and that is that is an every week thing. So if you uh, are new and you want to join us for that this week, by all means, um, you are welcome to. Um, I will tell you, um, it is entirely possible uh, voice chat fills up. Um, it is it is possible. We almost hit our limit um, last week. Uh, not, no, I'm sorry, the week prior. So it is entirely possible. But sometimes it is just, you know, 12 to 18 people hanging out, fucking dunking on a shitty movie while we're all kind of high and decompressing. It's That's what it is. It's a decompression thing that we do as a community. We get together, we get drunk, we get high, we watch bad movies, and we just forget about the bullshit that we talked about from the week. Yeah. So, always welcome. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's the link. Any newcomers, like if you're if you're not familiar, there's the obscure curio. That's curio that we we're talking that I was talking about. And Mitre, there the link is in chat. It's up up a ways. Um, Rosa, take care of yourself. Sleep well. Much love. Um, talk about us needing to join, but you'll never hear the beautiful Sven voice. Oh, Sven, come on! If you're gonna join us, you gotta talk. Um, page not found a uh, fucking there we go. Oh, it's, it's, it's Candidus. Um, it's drug resistant Candida. All right. Fair enough. Uh, Cassidy, seven months. Look at that shit, Cassidy. Um, uh-huh. They are. <laughs> Wilhelm, they are. Um, Wait. What are you on today, Victorious? Like you're you you you're having a weird day it seems like. Rumble. Uh, I saw that right. Yeah, I saw that.
Uh, uh, Zippy, I feel bad about that one. That one wasn't good. That one, that one, it kind of stuck part way. I did kind of. Ah, well, you know, the swish, dude, redacted the swish. I have to be really careful with that. That the, the front swish part is really easy to get a little too high. Um, yeah, I can, I can sort of hold down the back and the, the front when I do the spin, but the, the, yeah, the swish is a little difficult to make sure I don't just straight up flash some shit. Uh, thank you, Rumble. <laughs> Redeem channel points for more TOS violations. I almost did one night. Um, I I had the skirt rolled up just a little bit, so it was a little higher in the knee. Like, and I did a spin, and I mean, at least I had like, <laughs> you must know, I uh, yeah, I had a I had a pink thong on, um, but so it wouldn't have been the package that got seen but as i did the spin people were like oh yeah we almost got a we, it was right there like we almost saw we almost saw your ass i was like oh jesus christ that's all i need to do is catch my first suspension for flashing on camera <laughs> which is might as well do a hot tub stream at that point right um If I redeem the 5,000 point read a passage from a book reward, can I request you to read one of my own writings? Cave, uh, depending on the writing. I'm, yes. Yes, you can, Cave. But I'm going to need to proofread the writing first. And it, it has nothing to do with your grammar and you know it. Um, Joe's Cheeks guy. Um, Battle of the Bulge. Uh, Sven watching Kai do spins is a TOS violation itself. Hashtag free the bulge. Uh, <laughs> all right. <clears throat> all right. Let me. <laughs> oh god <laughs> all right here we go <clears throat> sorry redacted <laughs> cave this is on cave everyone this is on cave just just for for this for this trauma understand it's it's cave that did this to you not me <laughs> I'm gonna try and try and get through this without breaking too many times. <sighs> Kamala moaned softly as Joe's breath warmed her shoulder. Again, he inhaled deeply, savoring every subtle scent wafting from her incandescent form. Her perfume of lilac, coconut shampoo, the wine and curry on her breath, the heat of her sweat and the salty tears. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm sorry. I need to proof this too many times to be able to not laugh at it. Her perfume of lilac, coconut shampoo, the wine and curry on her breath, the heat of her sweat and the salty tears of an immigrant child she turned away at the border. <laughs> Each inhalation brought with it a new revelation about Kamala's very essence, that opaque and mystical quality that made her his ideal vice president. But she was more than just VP now. Something had lit a match between them, and it had spiraled into a burning, passionate inferno that threatened to consume them both. Before he could breathe in her scent again, Kamala turned to him and pressed her lips to his. No one can ever know, she whispered as she pulled away. What if Corn Pop finds out? Joe knew what she meant. Corn Pop had always been a jealous lover, and had become even more so of late. Undoubtedly, he suspected something of their affair. We'll compromise, suggested Joe. Let's limit ourselves to just sniffing for now. Yet, 
as Joe leaned forward to once again breathe of Kamala's scent. He felt a burning pain in his abdomen. He withdrew from their embrace, a trail of blood leading from his wounded gut to the dripping knife in Kamala's hand. He looked up at her, the left side of his vision slowly turning red as his eye filled with blood. Why? he gasped out. Kamala smiled, a hint of remorse barely visible behind the gleaming malice. She turned aside as from the shadows stepped a darkly familiar pantsuit-wearing figure. It's her turn. Oh. Cave, you have a very interesting sense, girl boss. <laughs> you have a very interesting um, creative side, Cave. I've told you before that if you write a book, like if you publish a book of this shit, of this just crazy shit you write, I, you need to tell me. I need to buy that book. I will buy a copy. Like it's, it's astounding some of the shit that just falls out of your brain. Um, well, you're still often on thin ice, Aost, but okay. <laughs> uh, Sven has, uh, warmed himself to us a little bit more. Um, take my money. Um, Oh, uh, that was, um, that was quite, I did, 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 the, the immigrant child tears cave was a nice touch. I couldn't get through that one. I could get through the curry. The curry was a nice touch too, by the way, that, that I managed to maintain through the, the, uh, the wine and curry on her breath. But the salty tears of an immigrant child, she turned away at the border is just too much. I couldn't, I couldn't. I couldn't hold it. I had to break on that one. <laughs> Cassidy, yeah, pretty much. Um, you're a you're a whole fucking thing, Cave. You're a whole fucking thing. <laughs> oh, cupcake, be nice. He's 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 relatively harmless. Oftentimes obnoxious, but harmless. Um, not even a do not come mention. Restrained. Um, let's see. I, I mean, I know this isn't like, but I do meathead shit from time to time. Did anybody see Eddie Hall's lift? Like, I know it's Olympics and shit like that, but... And I know it's like meathead shit straight up, but I, I'm I'm a fan of the human experience as we've already talked about. Um, and this is this is edge runner territory. Like this is hardcore edge runner territory. There's there's very few people who experience what uh, what Eddie experienced in this moment. Um, five hundred kilogram deadlift. Okay. 500 kilos he's going to deadlift and then he's going to hold it even after the ref tells him to stop but that's not the insane part let's watch it look at this again Danny blood was already coming out there he'd been holding his breath for a few seconds hadn't quite locked it out that's the moment he got his hips through and that's pure pleasure right there. He could have held it all day if he hadn't have, well, probably packed out. Very different idea from pleasure to me. But look at the pleasure on the faces of all these people. The referee saying, down, put it down. It's a good lift, but no, enjoying the moment. Just wouldn't let it go until he was satisfied, until he'd really enjoyed it. History being made then in front of 10,000 people. 
It's not his mouth, it's his nose bleeding. For those of you who don't know, the amount of blood pressure that occurs, like the vascular pressure that occurs when doing that kind of lift due to muscle contraction is beyond that what many of the vascular systems of the body can handle. Um, the uh, blood vessels in the eyes, the nose, are usually the first ones to go. Okay? It's... That's what happened, is he had a nosebleed. Um, the blood vessels in his nose popped. Um, and uh, by the way, uh, Cassidy, no, it's uh, 1,100 pounds. It's technically 1,102 point something, 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 something. Um, but yeah, it's it's 1,100 pounds. Um, yes, he is he is near the limit of, of humanity. Yeah. Um, yeah, um, it is. I, I ima just imagine it. Just imagine it. That man lifted a half a ton. He just deadlifted a half a ton. Like th that. Holy shit, man. Holy shit. Yeah. I, I honestly, it's, you know, it's a hell of a thing to say. It's a hell of a thing to say. Um, I don't know if Eddie does cycles or not. Uh, I don't know if Eddie is um, natty or not, to be perfectly honest. blaze i sure hope so i want to see i want to see that i want to see it let's see what the human body is capable of let's 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 do the bioengineering let's do the you know all that sort of stuff yeah yeah leah i i agree they they very are they're very communal the strongman stuff is very communal they cheer each other on even when they're destroying each other's records there it is a beautiful thing to see and yeah i i i enjoy watching that sort of thing um his fingering game must honestly be frightening <laughs> uh yeah yeah he, he could he could probably he could probably bust right through your abdomen with those fingers just a pop <laughs> yeah um oh adam what's up man you good um one of those all-in-one machines, basically the modern hard drive equipped equivalent to an old test cam. I don't use it for mixing. It's functional. It lets you export to Wi-Fi. Well, right now it's having some hard drive problems. Oh, Adam. Adam, you're the kind of guy that I used to charge stupid amounts of money to. Man, that shit needs backed up. Man, you can't have hundreds of hours worth of work on a single drive like that. Oh man, I I, I, I can Im I, I can imagine that feeling. Like I can imagine that feeling. I, I've I've had plenty of clients with it over the years. Oh, Eddie Hall, E D D I E H A L L, Cassidy. Eddie Hall. Hey Ray. Um, yeah, it sort of depends on what kind of hard drive too, as to like what level of data recovery you're going to be able to do. An old, um, like an old platter, magneto optical platter drive actually is great for data recovery the modern ssds are a nightmare
<laughs> one by one, Blaze. One by one. Um, yeah, Adam. I that that sucks, man. Um, what was that left? Like, like just recently, like a little bit ago. Oh, no, this is his OG one that you just saw. This isn't the follow-up. Eddie and Hathor are going back and forth on this, so you know. Like, um, Hathor is fucking... I think Hathor beat his lift, and then Eddie came back and beat Hathor's lift. And so they're tagging back and forth right now as to who can do more. Um, Eddie beat the previous record by 35 kilograms. Hathor, Hathor um, then came forward and beat Eddie's record by a kilogram. And then Eddie came forward and did beat his by a kilogram. And they've just sort of been tagging back and forth ever since. Um... Uh. <laughs> oh Jesus, fan. Uh not really, Blaze. No. Not really. Um I've I've watched plenty of videos by Half by Thor, Hathor. Uh Hathor. Um no. No, their 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 physique does not allow them to run. Um, they could maybe jog for small periods or small distances, but no, they're they're not capable of doing that. That's that's just not a uh, not a thing that body can take. Yeah, Adam, Adam, backups, backups. And don't work off of all-in-ones. Dude, all-in-ones are ridiculous. Um, stop working off an all-in-one. And to backup, 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 man. I don't care about your Adderall binge where you did like 30,000 tracks. Back it up, man. <laughs> Literal meat tanks. I like that. That's a good description. Literal meat tanks. Um... So here's a couple of headlines for you. Um, shit, the file this shit under um, things that we we already know, um, but apparently somebody needed an article. Or somebody needed an actual study on it. So an N of this study involves an N of thirteen thousand six hundred and thirty-two. Repairing homes in low-income neighborhoods reduced crime, including homicide. Philadelphia homeowners received a $20,000 grant to make a structural repairs. Difference in, an, uh, difference in differences analysis. So differences dash in dash differences. Difference in differences analysis shows an approximately 22% reduction in total crime in any blocks that participated in the program. And again, an N of 13,632, not exactly a small, uh, study, uh, a small, uh, study sample. Um, so, Hey, who'd have guessed? Um, oh, and, uh, this is, this is one of my favorites. Early childhood Medicaid eligibility reduces mortality and disability, increases employment, and reduces receipt of disability transfer programs up to 50 years later. Medicaid has saved the government more than its original cost and more than 10 million quality adjusted life years. Anybody wants these or needs these, let me know. Um, Adia just, um, some meathead stuff and then a couple of, uh, just a couple of studies that I just dropped. Um, and Adam may, Adam may have fucked himself. <laughs> um, opinion on COVID shot. Well, I don't think anybody's like injecting COVID 
um, into themselves. I don't. I mean, is that a thing? Is are are people shooting up COVID now? Like, or, or do you mean the COVID vaccine? Um. Yes, I'm gonna be a pedant just for shits and giggles. Uh, opinion on COVID shots? Don't trust the Johnson. Uh, <laughs> I promise not to shoot COVID at some at anyone. Um. The Johnson and Johnson one is worthless. I say this only with I. I I'm I'm quoting. I, I do know an infectious disease expert um, who is the on-call um, infectious disease specialist for a hospital network here in Las Vegas. Um, and per his own words, he does not think the J&J vaccine is effective um, given what he has seen for intakes into the, uh, the ER as uh, since. Um, but beyond that... I have, I, that is again, anecdotal secondhand information. Um, but he, I do trust his expertise. Um, I've known him for years now. Um, and he is actually consulted on numerous things. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, beyond that, get your fucking vaccine. It's not new technology. It's not untested technology. The mRNA techni- uh, technology that goes into these vaccines has been around since the fucking 90s, for Christ's sake. We've been working on it for decades now. So my thought on the COVID vaccines, get your fucking vaccine. Um, on top of that, um, <clears throat> even if it doesn't prevent breakthrough, even if it, even if you are still able to catch COVID, all indicators are showing that it reduces the um, the severity of the disease and could potentially prevent against long term COVID uh, problems, which are numerous and terrifying at this point. We have seen some serious fucking studies coming out that are concerning. Uh, as to the neurological damage caused by uh, the uh, inflammatory cycle and cytokine res- uh, cytokine response um, from a COVID infection. So, again, get your fucking vaccines. Also, elderly, immunocompromised, and um, fucking children. Like, children and immunocompromised people can't get this fucking vaccine. So, they are relying upon us for herd, uh, herd immunity at this point. So, again, get your fucking vaccine. There we go. Um, let's see. Is it true we'll have to get a vaccine shot every six months? One of my Chud bosses was talking about it. Me toad, it does um it it does look like there's going to be boosters needed. It's probably gonna end up it's endemic. It's endemic. Um it chances are it's gonna end up like the flu shot. It's gonna end up in that territory. We're gonna we're gonna end up having to mix up a new batch for a couple of different variants every year, depending on what's going around. Um, why would you be banned? You've never been on this channel before. Are you so problematic? Uh, who's this? Bryson creates. Are you, are you so problematic that you have been banned by anybody running Posada bot? Do you go into like leftist spaces and you are auto banned already? Have you run afoul of Posada bot? Is that what has occurred for you? Hey, you drop fifty dollars worth of uh, worth of biddies in chat. I'll listen to a Christian hip hop song. Sure, no big deal. You drop you drop fifty bucks worth of biddies. I will listen to your Christian hip hop song, guaranteed. Um. Oh, fucking chronic. Leah, I have a um. Sure, for twenty five, I'll do it too. Yeah, that's fair. To listen to one song as long as it's TOS friendly somebody's gonna have to listen to it ahead of time 
and verify that this shit can go on the air. As long as somebody screens it, which we can get done, don't worry about it. For 25, yeah, I'll fucking listen to a Christian hip hop song. No problem. Um, of course he's restreaming me. Which, by the way, FYI, Bryson, you need to ask. It's outright against TOS. It, that shit will get your account banned. I'm telling I'm warning you. I'm warning you. Twitch has that in the fucking guidelines. You don't restream like that. Um, it is a very quick way to lose your account. Um, and then second, it's just common courtesy to ask. Um, uh, biddies, the, the bits. Um, hey, Marcus. Um, and uh, how much for the polycycle? A, a, a bunch, Blaze, a bunch. Um, uh, Leah, that's what I was doing. Fucking Leah. One of my friends in real life had undiagnosed Lyme disease for years. We think he caught it probably around age 15 and finally got it handled by 40, 41. So much chronic damage. So much degradation to the nervous system. Fucking um, teeth falling out from the morphine pop uh, uh, lollipops they had him on for ages trying to deal with the pain. I have seen somebody ravaged, absolutely ravaged by Lyme disease. I am I am there in your corner, man. That fucking sucks. Oh. Well, Bryson, you got a link? You I, I will live up to my end of the bargain. You got a you got a link for me? <laughs> Marcus, there there is a bot called Posada Bot that that is a, I I I hate I hate the bot I fucking hate it. Um, I mean, come on, give me a link, man. Don't 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 be lazy like that. I'm going to need somebody to screen whatever the fuck this is. Okay. So I've got a link. Um, I need, I need somebody to watch this video, um, and get back to me. Yeah, it's three minutes and 19 seconds. Just give me a TOS heads up. Um, yeah, and Bri uh, Bryson, don't worry about it. I, I will live up to my end of the bargain, for sure. I just need somebody to screen it because this is the sort of shit we deal with. It's just, it's precaution, man. So give it, give me one, give it, give us one sec. I, I will watch it. I will watch it on fucking screen. But like I said, we have to be careful. So it's just the way it goes. Um, I don't want to. I want to give this message to this Bob. Uh, Adia, no, you didn't because I'm not wearing any. <laughs> so, um, 45, fuck, I had premature dementia for three months when I was 16 after being bedridden for eight months. Um, uh, that's when I told her to fuck off with meds that were destroying me. I managed my shit through various other methods. I had bad Herx reaction, everything they gave me. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, Leah, yeah, dude, that's that's fucking rough, Leah. Trust me, I'm, I'm, I feel you. I fucking feel you. I've seen it up close. It's it's bad, man. It's bad. Um. Yeah, <laughs> interesting. So Bryson, um, okay. 
I'm just looking at your account here, Bryson. Um, uh, oh, well, you can you can tell your chat I'm not wearing. I, um, it is you have followers only chat. You do. Um. Oh, Jesus Christ! Really? I mean, ugh. Um. You even you're even rocking the red hat, man. You're rocking. You come on, man. Um. All right. Cool. All right, let's do this. You want my reaction, Bryce? Here's my reaction. <clears throat> it is unbelievably bigoted in every conceivable way, but it appears TOS friendly. Fair enough. He paid the price. We'll do it. <laughs> I love that there's people in Bryce's chat even. Y'all that bothered by a man with a skirt? <laughs> oh, fucking. St uh, uh, y'all, stop being snowflakes. Stop being snowflakes, y'all. It's just a dude in a skirt. Come on. Fucking own your shit. All right, let's watch this. Oh, oh wait. Hang on. Let me make sure. Yeah, let me, kill let me crank this volume up. Because... Mitre said it was a bop. It's like B minus SoundCloud rap. All right, fair enough. Hey, hey, they might ban me for this song. Hey, but this is how I'm rocking. Can't be trans because it ain't real. They need a mental asylum. Say the truth, they look at me like I'm the one with the problem. But they mess with little kids. That's why pedophilia rising. But that's what happens when you give in. All right, statistically, you're wrong. Pedophilia isn't on the rise. So right out of the gate. You're just wrong, but all right, that's neither here nor there. Answer the gays, promoting sin instead of telling them they should change the ways they make you wear. Oh, FYI, Bryce, if you want to come on the air and have this conversation, I'm an ordained minister and have been for 18 years. Uh, so if you want to talk about sin, let's talk about sin, son. Mass, you can fly that, remind me of slaves. Got my order wrong at McDonald's, thinking you need a raise. I'm about to break the meter, two way got my heat up. Hey, I don't wear Nike, I only rock Adidas. Hey, I'm in the street, yeah, and mostly y'all just tweet us. Hey, and false teachers, so Bryson got a teal. Like uh, do you think you're a teacher? I mean, that's a Jesus reference. You're a false teacher, you're a false teacher as well, then. I mean, you're essentially a Pharisees in this instance, but you know. Again, we can have this conversation. A woman, then it should be a crime. If you impersonate a cop, then they gon' give you some time. Say you a queen, but all you do is twerk and show your behind. And people think you a 10, but you ain't worth a dime. You scared of COVID, but you around like 400 pounds. Take that mask off and eat fried chicken so you look like a clown. If this offensive, I don't care because I'm just making my rounds. And if you voted Joe, you a coon. I love how that sound. <laughs> hey, mask off. I promise they don't help. If I saw my son in the dress, then I'll go. Go and get my belt, look in the mirror. Hey, always, in, always love to see the uh, the black milieu, the black community of America encouraging beating your children. That's a really good look, by the way. Y'all, y'all should keep that up. That ha that hasn't earned you mad disrespect from those ignorant white morons in the deep south yet. And tell me what you think about yourself. You need a safe space. Sorry, I don't care about what you feel. I'm about to break the meter. Two way got my heat up. Hey, I don't wear Nike. I only rock a beat up. Hey, I'm in the brand studio. loyalty. Mostly y'all just tweet us. Tweet. Hey, false teachers. So Bryson got a teal. They would ban me if I tweeted everything in this verse. But I would get a Grammy if I wore a dress in a purse. They want every black man to be like Don Lemon. It hurts. They only love us when we Mike Brown. Dead in the dirt. If you like BLM and you watch CNN and you brain 
dead Probably wear a mask in the bed Why you laying there With a Fauci finger in your rear And a blank stare Cause you done went along with this hair And now you done cause all these dang problems in here They don't play fair Stealing the election and selling children on Wayfair <laughs> Opening the borders They bringing drugs and they rapes here Multiculturalism is about as strong as a daycare Try to cancel me well then bring it baby I ain't scared Never been afraid of a liberal It's only two genders boy I'm so Y'all are the This is literally the result of multiculturalism <laughs> This is brilliant. This is brilliant. Oh. Girl, keep it simple. Okay. Christ is king. That's my MO. I will never bow down to Fauci in the temple. Uh, no safe space for the sensitive. Can't even think for themselves. They own sedatives. Brainwashed by the TV and representatives. Hey, we all know Joe Biden ain't the real president. Uh. Um, just an honest critique. Whoever the first guy was rapping, I like his voice. I like his flow a little bit better. Whoever the second guy is, uh, it's kind of whatever. Oh, homo pedo ruling, they be evil. They seek ruin America. First, we got it booming. Ain't nothing could stop this movement. Global homo pedo ruling, they be evil. They seek ruin America. First, we got it booming. Ain't nothing could stop this movement. Don't break the meter. Two way got my heater. Hey, I don't wear Nike. I only rock the theater. Hey, I'm in the street, yeah. And mostly y'all just tweet us. Hey, and false teachers. So Bryson got a teal. Make America godly again. That's adorable. That's adorable. Um, I mean, the beats are fucking banging. Whoever does, whoever does your beat work, Bryce, like respect. Um, your, I mean, look, we have a fundamental disagreement as to how we view the world, for sure. Um, but like, you know, you can lay down some. You can lay down some fucking tracks. I don't know who guy number two was. Mm, not for me. Um, but, you know. How do I change it from Winston the Eager Respect with the Tier 1 sub? Let's go! Oh, that's adorable. Uh, the, somebody said that the song was based. <laughs> uh, again, I will extend the invitation. Um, uh, once more, Bryce, as I said, I'm an ordained minister and have been for 18 years. I can speak with a certain level of expertise on theological topics and up to and including mistranslations of biblical passages from the Greek into the English and vice versa, using old Germanic uh, Bibles as verification as to these mistranslations and these sorts of things, right? So if you'd like to have a biblical discussion with somebody who isn't a believer and is firmly uh, uh, not in the camp of whatever the fuck y'all believe uh, over there on your channel and in your community. But thank you for the laugh, by the way. That was honestly, some of those lines were uh, <laughs> were beautiful. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I, I think the, um, the, the, the conspiracy, I, like that's the, that's the stuff that always is amazing. I, I, I quite enjoy the creativity of the conspiracy theorists. Um, the, the Wayfair shipping children pedophilia ring is right up there. Um, you know, it's right up there with like the uh, ty uh, Joe Biden is filming all of his stuff from the Tyler Perry estate in the 80% scale replica that Tyler Perry had built for one of his TV shows. And it be because Joe Biden was repelled at the White House by the Marines and the Secret Service, that kind of shit just cracks me up. I absolutely adore it. I absolutely love it. And the fact that you're, you're weighing it to some like pretty sick beats um, just gives me a good laugh. So at the end of the day, I mean, look, I, I do not believe that shit, but you know, 
you're doing you, you're speaking your truth, I suppose, and you're laying down some halfway decent beats. Yeah. Your chat is literal here. You 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 really you you want to like I will show it on screen. Your chat is literally followers only chat, man. Like this isn't that difficult to fucking look at. Uh, let me pull my chat off. You see down here where it says followers only chat? That means it's followers only chat. <laughs> uh. Uh, Fortnite is lame as shit. I'm sorry. Go, go, go play a real fucking shooter. Um, you want to know why for, for Bryce's chat, like y'all want to know why, um, we're criticizing the followers only chat thing. It's because it's coercive. It's, it's, it's scummy and scammy at the same time, right? Like if people want to follow your, follow your channel, they'll follow the channel forcing them to follow the channel to increase your metrics just so that they can say something or participate in your channel is seen in certain circles is sort of lame so that's that's the criticism that people are making and it's not just me it's 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 my chat um not gen x or either winston but you know you can keep shooting in the dark bryson sorry i keep calling you bryce don't i um, well, you need to be in voice chat probably for that to occur. Um, cool. He's, he's boomering his way through Discord. Just give it a bit. Give me a count of five, please, so I can get your audio level set up. One, two, three, four, five. Thank you kindly. Um, let's see. It should match us pretty equally as far as volume levels go. Um, hey, skeptic. Um, you, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to wait on that question, skeptic. We're doing a we're doing a whole other thing. Um, a track. Yes, um, I will give you fair warning. Um, if there are any gamer words, you you know what I mean by gamer words, right? We're we're gonna have we'll we'll have to pull the conversation. Perfect. But first thing I do cool. want to let you know is I did not even know my thing was in followers only mode. Okay. Now now like, now it's fixed. 
So there we go. No, 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 no. I say that because y'all try to make it seem like somebody purposely had it for a nefarious reason, which is not even true. I don't even know how to work Twitch. <laughs> like, what? Yes, yes, Rev. Like lag and ping. That is a hundred percent what we mean. Um, for sure. Mm. <laughs> Mitre, Mitre said, "We believe you after witnessing you trying to get on Discord." Um. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not a boomer. It's just stuff like Discord and stuff. I'm not only I'm not on here. I don't work Twitch usually. I just turn the stream on on Streamlabs. Uh, you know, but you know. I'm not a boomer. Just, just like, don't confuse it. <laughs> um, it, did, it. It did. To be fair, it did look sort of boomerish when I was trying to get the Discord to try to figure out how to change my <laughs> chat thing. That, that that did have a boomer vibe to it. No kidding. There you go. At least you could own it. That's 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 all that matters. We can own our shit and move move forward as people, right? Yep. Yeah, so what's the topic? What we what we on? <laughs> you, you, you brought up the Bible. You brought up the Bible. And I, I, I found that fairly interesting. <clears throat> um, well, I mean, the top there is there is no topic because we cover a host of topics on the channel within the community. We uh, we do a, we are an we are an anarchist group. Though I uh, my community has right leaning people, left leaning people, centrists. I've got a sixty two year old centrist who's been with his wife for forty six years for fuck's sake in my community. Um, so the milieu is wide and varied, but I am an anarchist. We have a whole contingent uh, of anarchists that are active with either in the streets through direct action or within uh, educational uh, manners, um, teaching theory, that sort of stuff. I don't, um, I don't have a, I don't have an issue with you being an anarchist. Obviously, I disagree with that. But um, what I have an issue with is you claim you said it three times that you were a ordained, ordained minister, minister for 18 years yes yeah four uh, four times now and you said that and then i heard you say something like mistranslations and things of that uh -huh. nature you do realize the 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 infamous passage from leviticus is a mistranslation from the greek arson no, kotai nope nope see and here we go i was hoping you said this so b before you even start let me help you first off anybody with common sense knows the all right, first off, I'm going to literally mute you on my stream. Do not speak down to me. We are equals. Do not pull that shit, all right? I'm going to help you. I'm going to teach you something. I'm going to fucking school you. I'm going to educate you, all right? We are equals. Do not speak down to me. We are having a conversation. No, nobody's speaking, nobody, nobody's speaking down to you. I'm just, I'm just letting you know that the original Tanakh, what you would call, referred to as the Old Testament, was written in Hebrew, not Greek. Secondly, when people try to use a German translation, it doesn't matter. The only translation that matters is the Hebrew translation. And the Hebrew word that's used for male is not boy. Forward translates to pederasty, even from the Hebrew. No, it doesn't. The, the, the word used for male there translates to male, fact. It's hilarious that you can just say fact and claim it to right. be a fact. That's, no, that's no, an I interesting mean, tactic. I, I know a guy called Haz. You probably get along with him really well. He likes to declare victory just by declaring victory. It's pretty good. So true. So true. <clears throat> I'm glad you said this because what we're about to do here <clears throat> we're about to go to it. We're about to go to the Hebrew 1822 and it is right here. So we're about to take this. Fairly simple thing to do. Anybody can do it, chat. If you're watching this, it's the most easiest thing to do. I don't do the KJV. Do uh, the, the actual Tanakh translation because it already has the Hebrew there. <clears throat> it uh, it literally already has the Hebrew there. Yes, yes, Estrella. They're about to Google translate Hebrew, which is super reliable. Here's here's where I would really like to start the conversation. What was the lessons and teachings of Jesus? You have he's muted himself, everyone. Oh, you didn't hear me? Hello? 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, you you oh, have you have to not mute yourself for people to hear you. I said to follow the Torah. I was typing. I didn't know I hit the mute button. But I, I said Jesus' message was to follow the Torah. No, love thy neighbor. No, judgment is nine, and mine, saith the Lord. No, cast the first, he who cast the first stone. No, his, nothing his about rich people. Nothing about judgmental people. Nothing about people preaching on the corner. About not judging people? Are you referring to Matthew? Because you know if you keep reading that verse, it tells you not to be a hypocrite while judging. It's telling you it's teaching you how to judge, not that you shouldn't judge. You know you know that? You you I'm so not, you're not a hypocrite, right? You're you're a perfect living example of Jesus himself and you're not a sinner at all, right? When I make when I make righteous judgments, it's not hypocritical, it's literally all strictly based from the Bible. But the Bible has been is the word of man. Word of God. As written by man. Who is fallible? Mm. So when Jesus was alive, the Bible wasn't the written when Jesus was alive. The distance is a chasm worth of years between Jesus's yeah. supposed uh, living testimony and those who wrote the Bible. But regardless, you, and it's gone through multiple that. committees uh, right. committees as well along the process, even. You asked me what was Jesus' teachings, and then you went on to say things that you thought were Jesus' teachings. But now that I'm actually telling you what his teachings actually were, because I read the Bible daily and I know the word, you, now you're trying to discredit it. So what was the point of even starting off by saying what was Jesus' teachings? The point is, is that you like to weaponize the Bible to attack people, and then you use Not the true. Bible as a literal device, which it isn't either. Mm, no, I use the Bible and I do what the Bible tells me to do. Ezekiel 3.18 says... Yeah, the Bible tells people. you to commit genocide, rape, murder. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's it's a great moral tale, really. No. A great moral tale. So what was the point... Let's go back to the beginning. What was the point of you bringing up the ordained... Saying you was an ordained minister? Because it's, I, it's always to fun me, to have... Conver like it's always have, uh, fun to have conversations with Bible thumpers like you who use the Bible as a social weapon in their crusade against people they find as undesirables, much as white people used to do against black people. Which, by the way, we've kind of forced that Bible onto your people. By the way, that isn't true at all. Um, because yes. if you know anything, the book, the, book, the book of Matthew, first off, the Tanakh has been around for a very, very, very long time. Nobody forced that on anything. Secondly, the New Testament wasn't all together from inception, the Roman Catholic Church curated the book that they wanted to put in the Bible. But the book of Hebrew was going around churches on its own in Israel by itself. So when you say somebody forced the Bible on us, bro, that that author is wrong. Secondly, I, I feel like you skip past this translation in Leviticus 18.22 because the direct translation from Hebrew is male. There is not one Orthodox rabbi, there's not one Orthodox rabbi that will say do you have male. I would just really okay so you're going to criticize entire groups of people based off of a book which all right fair enough um do you I have, don't a, have to use the book do you have it yeah you do because you have no, no proof no. as to the truth of that book yes I do no you don't you're going to rely on faith you're going to rely on no. some bullshit no not not really nature 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 doesn't ag just... nature doesn't agree with that book at all that book has fucking you know dudes so? living 600 years you, you don't think nature agrees with the book at all uh no no i don't i think the genetic oh, filter seriously? i think the genetic filters that we've been run through multiple times disprove things uh, uh multiple stories within that book so here go my thing you brought up a mistranslation corrected it you brought up you being an ordained minister but it's now now it seems like you're trying to not only discredit the bible but you're trying to move from the biblical conversation why is that because the bible is bullshit i have openly said multiple times i'm not a believer it's a fucking no, I never, I scam never man it's a fucking scam it's a literal social control mechanism used to manipulate the populace so you said it's bullcrap so let me ask you a question can men get pregnant no, Why? not unless you use a neo uh, neo pronoun gendered uh, uh, definitional set of man. In which case, yes. Well, my question is why not? I do say no. My question was why not? Well, because in your instance of man, you're using a bio uh, biological set of man, and men don't get pregnant. Why can't they? 
what, what, because why are they not, why because are they not basic chromosomal and zygomatic inter uh, interchanges between the female egg and the male chromosomal uh, the meg uh, spermatozoa interactions. So male, so so male and female are basically men and women are different, just different. Like they have different, their bodies work in different ways, and uh, men, men and female are literally meant literally to procreate, right? So why are you 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 seem to be distancing yourself as well? Um, you seem to be trying to head towards the homophobia and transphobia that you are so endemically displaying through your, um, we'll call it music. Oh, I, I'm def, I'm definitely transphobic for sure. But um, why are you afraid of them? What is what does that bother you so much? Uh, if you're willing to, if you're willing to cut off your own genitals or get it cut out surgically removed, or have you want to pit it, I don't know what you're capable of. But uh, are you are you are you, are you are you are you afraid of people? Are you afraid of people with tattoos and body piercings? My afraid well, some body piercings, some of the people be looking weird. You feel me? Because interesting. So you are you are the definition of like hyper socially conservative. Yes, I'm pretty far right. Correct. Uh, no, not conservative, as in socially conservative. I'm not putting you on a, a left-right spectrum. I'm just stating that you you would prefer things to not have progressed past a certain historical iteration, and you see all forward progress societally as degradatory, degradatory towards the social fabric, that sort of thing. You you want it to stay a certain way, and any you want to maintain that status quo. So true, and now you're about to go towards a slavery route, right? No, no, actually, I wasn't headed there at all. I'm just trying to figure you out, man. Um, well, I'm, I, I'm I find on every issue. I find I find people who are like anti-progressivism um, almost tact uh, tactily um, fascinating um, to myself. Um, I, I just don't I don't get it. Like I don't understand how this affects you and why you're so bothered by it in the first place. Oh, it, it affects me a lot because let me give you multiple reasons why it affects me. I, I used to write blogs in 2013 and I said this LGBT stuff was a slippery slope when they were claiming to fight for marriage when they already had something. They, they already had something that the, uh, the government recognized uh, and, and they claimed they wanted the same rights as married couples when, when they could have just added, they could have just fought to get that added to what they already had. But instead, they wanted to fight for the word. And I said this is a slippery slope when they started running around boycotting Chick-fil-A. Just because the the Chick Fil A uh, president disagreed with their stance, and I said it was slippery slope. Now we got men. No disrespect to you personally, but we got men in dresses, painted nails. That's like sort of like trending now. Now we got people going around saying men can get pregnant and all types of trans people run around. Everything's going crazy. Again, Nike why does to, how does this affect you? I'm I'm, I'm getting there. So my I'll father get there is a faster. School, my father is a public school is a public school teacher. And as you know, public school teachers in a lot of states are being forced to promote and abide by this LGBT nonsense or else they'll get fired. So now the government is literally mandating LGBT. So, um, so that affects everybody. So should we... What degree... If you were to characterize your, your politics as far as governmental interaction with the sort of social milieu, as it were, what where would you place yourself? Are you like libertarian? And I use this in a North American um, uh, sense, not a classical French sense. Are you like, where would you place yourself? Conservative. I'm conservative on pretty much all topics. Uh, okay. Well, li libertarians can be conservative too. I'm looking for something more specific than just conservative do you understand the Burkean roots of conservatism yes especially social conservatism it actually started social uh conservative um social conservatism actually started because of a reaction to a anti-christian movement that they that was going on that's what social conservatism came from in america it goes further it goes to edmund burke and the french revolution i'm just i'm just telling you when it when it started to trend in this country yeah well i'm telling you the actual political science accepted roots of modern conservatism find themselves at Edmund Burke and Burkean philosophy and an a, a advocacy for maintaining the status quo of the French monarchy in face of a revolutionary act. The, the, the devil we know versus the devil we don't sort of situation. Not true. I'm, I'm definitely paleo. I'm a definitely, I'm definitely a paleo conservative, but what is the, okay. Like, well, like, okay. Like, so Rothbard territory. Got it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Okay. So, 
just trying just trying to feel you out see i'm i'm open to the conversation without attacking people as to who they are and what they want to be and that sort of thing i just want to get to know you because you you're very very opinionated you you feel that certain elements from our society should be purged and so i i I just i find um to use your own terminology that to be a very slippery slope Because many, well, many have come before you who would like to purge elements from our society and uh, from societies in general. And uh, I find that more often than not, that ends up in an authoritarian nightmare. So oh. in your case, I'm looking at a theocratic nightmare. Oh, hey, let, let, let me tell you something. Versus what we got now with a whole bunch of crazy people running around, I would rather have a Christian theocracy. There it is, folks. There it is. If you wanted to know what it looks like, there it is. Um, that is literally ISIS. That's I mean, it. It doesn't, matter, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter which we compare it to, because what we have now is a very immoral society. Uh, we have a whole bunch of m- mentally ill people running around being normalized as if they are not mentally ill, and then you're forcing people like me to abide by it now. Ten years ago, I didn't have this same view. I would have been more just regular conservative. So really. what radicalized regular you? Regular Republican. I, I wasn't as radical, but the problem the problem is when people started getting forced. Now you're trying to force me to agree with your nonsense. Now I was like, you know what? I knew it was a slippery slope, and now I'm seeing it with my own two eyes. Now I see we need something just as radical to get things on track. So you're literally that, advo- you're openly advocating for violence. No, I'm not. Well, what radical solution is going to eliminate this element from from society? Oh, very simple. Roll back a lot of these laws, um, and the the Bible should dictate most laws, especially morally. Uh, so, if you know, like, why trans- why gender- should your uh, why should your religious text become the foundational text for the uh, legal structure when there are other religious texts? Well, we're going to think, if you find me one Abrahamic religious text that doesn't have the same values for the most part, you just let me know. Why do we uh, have to the, Why do we have to use an Abrahamic? Well, this country, this, this is a Christian nation. No, it's right? not. The founders explicitly <laughs> stated multiple times, including in our founding Did documents. They? It's not. What was the most quoted, what was the most quoted <clears throat> book by our founders? Oh, no. The Bible... And they explicitly every, stated and, this is not a Christian nation. No, they did not. Actually, if you want to know what uh, a lot of the founders said, first off, every founder was a part of a denomination. You know that, right? A Christian denomination, like you, every single one. You like, do there, realize there wasn't one. you do realize that Thomas Jefferson himself was a fu- was what we used to call a deist, which is now what we call an agnostic, oh, yeah. I, and yeah. literally wrote his own fucking version of the Bible, pulling out all of the magical Harry Potter bullshit out of it. That is a question. When, when, when he... You know, the, he, got, the, the greatest political writer, maybe, of many, many generations and one of the what, primary founding mm-hmm. elements how, of this how country. Old how old was he? Because I can literally tell you his denomination if you want me to. Oh, you're adorable. He, no, no, like, was he a part of a denomination in his young adult years? Yes or no? It doesn't matter. It's his writings <laughs> that matter. There's yeah, there's plenty of people who go to Catholic mass that aren't practicing Catholics. Well, as I said, as I said, every single founding father was a part of a denomination. Even if you want to say a few of them became something different later on. So was on. I. Every single, every single And I take it up the ass passed. with a big old fat black cock on the regular. And Is yet I was a member of a uh, denomination. I don't know what you just said. I only, I only want you to repeat it. I'm going to keep it a band. But, um. Oh, and but just ev- FYI. Just, just FYI. Really quickly. Nail polish. And a skirt. Oh, Lord. Ooh. I had I had, I had to take the screen off. I'm not going to lie. It is really like nothing with you personally. That just genuinely disgusts me. It's he not just, you personally. He just, he, just pulled, he just pulled me off the, uh, off his screen. The snowflakes couldn't handle it, y'all. Bro, it's, it's not that being a snowflake. I just simply don't Safe space. Want to be, I, I need like, my safe space. I, I need my safe space. Hey, call it, call it what you want, bro. But what I'm saying is, 
I don't want to be exposed to that. I don't want to expose. I wish. I wish you. I wish you. I wish you luck, and I hope one day you stop being a hate-filled individual. Good luck. <laughs> N- now, feel free to report him. In a stream, mm, homophobia. Let's see, what do we got? Uh, literally advocates for purging. we go oh uh, uh. he will not get his covid shot and darwinism will be proven uh yeah and isis supporter don't forget that that is that's some crazy ass shit y'all like that's that's some crazy ass shit. That's what happens when you, that's your brain on the Bible. It's fucking rough, man. It's fucking rough. I, I he doesn't understand that years ago he'd be the mentally ill one. He has no historical con- uh, contextualization for his position. It's terrifying. All of these fucking queers and these trans people running around fucking with their mental illness, forcing me to... It's like, do you understand white people said this about your people fucking, like, literally 60 to 80 years ago? It's fucked, man. They said this about women. They said this about various immigrant groups. Like, this is... You're literally parroting a, a fucking colonial position, and it's sad. It's fucking sad. And it's just hate-filled and fear-filled. Holy shit, so much fear. So much fear. And he literally, by the way, he literally did. When I spun in the skirt, he fucking pulled me off his stream because he couldn't handle a dude in a skirt. Big, tough man literally freaked out because there's a dude in a skirt. Yeah, that's tough. That's real tough. Uh, Joe, uh, I got paid $30 to interact with this person. Um, some wannabe SoundCloud rapper type that, um, he seems to be sort of like, um, Christian nationalist, black nationalist sort of territory. I don't know if he's full on black Nat. Um, uh, n- probably not. He's probably a MAGA head. So he's not really black Nat. Definitely Christian Nat. Um, and yeah, like really freaked out by gay and trans people. Um, so when I got sick of hearing his hate speech about how like gays and trans people should be purged from society, um, I told him that, you know, I like to suck big old black cock. And then I got up and spun around in my skirt and the snowflake pulled me off his stream because he was so freaked out by it. That's, that's, that's tough, man. That's tough. Oh no, a skinny little white boy in a skirt. (gasps) (laughs) Literally advocating, by the way, for uh, full-on Christian nationalism. That we should be governed by the rules of the Bible. Like, straight-up ISIS shit. Straight-up ISIS shit. Thank you, Leah. Thank you. 
that was um that was a special interaction i sure hope um i wish him well i wish him well yeah sharia law but christian which just sharia just means law anyway um sharia law but the christian edition yeah it's it's sad it's sad it's sad that you could be that weak to be affected by other people that much right like this is not this is not somebody who can be autonomous when we talk about individual autonomy this is somebody who can't who cannot embrace that they're not ready he's not ready he's not ready for it if if somebody walking down the street in a skirt like is the harbinger of societal collapse for him he's an immature child and quite frankly he has no business in the political arena but this is the nature of democracy in our country everybody gets a voice and i allowed him to express express it for as long as i was comfortable doing it until he literally started advocating for a christian nation in which we purge gay people and and trans people like you know yeah like good luck to you <clears throat> but yeah he's banned already Holy shit. No, he's not. He's not. No, I just checked. <clears throat> I was like, Jesus Christ, Twitch. Holy fuck. Um, all right, Skeptic, you had a thing. Skeptic, you wanted to know something. Um, yeah, yeah, Joe. I mean, it's, it doesn't, it doesn't take much. It doesn't take much to fucking bait out those kind of chuds. I, I couldn't imagine. He literally, he wrote a rap song, which the beats, beats were okay. And his, his flow was decent. If he didn't, if he wasn't such a fucking terrible human being, maybe he could rap about something interesting. Um, but I mean, he's essentially just a parrot for, um, fucking like Trump. I, it's it's pathetic really but um yeah oh uh did sven i have a quick question if you don't mind why was zionism originally a popular left-wing movement is in communist zion uh, zionism a more uh, oxymoron um Hey, Papa John. Glazy, that's the opposite of big time. That's that's not big time. Little Nas X is the big time. All right. Jay-Z is the big time. Eminem is the big time. Fucking even fucking who's the idiot that screams his name all the time? DJ Khaled or whatever the fuck. That's big time. He's a SoundCloud rapper with a decent following i'll give him that 163,000. that's that's a decent following but that's not the big time right let's not abuse that term to that extent um yeah also hail satan yeah if he if he is still streaming this channel which would be hilarious hail satan um yeah um oh skeptic <laughs> sorry skeptic um <clears throat> it was originally a left-wing ideology or a left-wing position. I shouldn't say ideology. It was originally a left-wing position just because um, the transplanting and rehoming of the Jewish uh, diaspora into a, uh, a, a settled nation state was sort of caught... A, it was running counter to right-wing positions of elimination of the Jews at the time. And so it was inherently in a it was inherently a position that was being advocated for and spread by left wing um, theorists and activists. So it was just inherently a, a topic of the left wing. But then once it became what it became after you know the colonial empire, uh, the colonialists on uh, the various empirical uh, empir empirical empiricist powers. Um, 
no, no um, empirical powers, um, became involved in it, then it became a whole other ballgame. Yeah, oh yeah. Stalin had alternative uh, motives, though, Skeptic. Stalin wanted the, Ju the Jews out. He wanted the Jews out. See the Night of the Doctors. Yeah, <laughs> People's Party USA, I'm the Antichrist. I have a scar in the middle of my right hand. It's a Hebrew 6. Also, Hail Satan. Yes, yes. They're authoritarian over there. They're talking about how great it is to force people to Christ. Oh, yeah, that's that's always worked. Yeah, for sure. Um, me Toad, are they still, like, is he still restreaming me? Because that's obnoxious. Also, if he's still restreaming me, just report him for that. Um, that's obnoxious. Ask, ask. Is it that difficult to ask? Okay, cool. Glazy, it's literally in the terms of service. He and Haz would get along. Holy shit, he and Haz would get along fabulously. They would they would be a hell of a pair, actually. Yeah. Yes. Uh, hey, EOL. Um, we just encountered a Christian nationalist who is a uh, wannabe SoundCloud rapper who has a song about how, like, uh, MAGA shit, just trans people, queers, shit like that, EOL. It was quite the experience. I uh, He paid me $30 to listen to his song. The beats were okay. The beats were bopping. Um, he is halfway decent flow. Whoever his second guy is, though, I, I maintain he was shit. Um, yeah, he, um, oh, the, the 30 bucks is already cashed. That shit already got transferred. Uh, he probably bought the beats. Fair enough. Um, so yeah, yeah, it, it definitely, um, Oh yeah. Um Yep. Oh, <clears throat> uh, let's see. 
did you report the song for being offensive to my ears? Uh, no, no. Um, Rayvon and SJW got $50 each. That's fine. That's fine. I'm okay with it. He's probably running out of money. He's already 130. He was already a hundred bucks in and you know, that song ain't making money. So like he's, his marketing budget is probably, you know, not huge. It's okay. I think we all, I think we all need exposure to that sort of thing. Y'all need to be reminded that there are literally people out there who are in the marginalized community category, right? He is a black man. All right. So he would be the protected class territory who wants you dead. He wants you out. He's not willing to say it. He's, he's not willing to outright say it. He kept that mask on. But he literally, when I said, oh, like ISIS, he was fine with it. He advocates for a theological state in which it is governed by a strict interpretation of, a, uh, of, the, uh, of the Christian Bible using Old Testament standards. All right. He is, he is advocating for the violent elimination of various marginalized communities. So, you know, just because somebody belongs to a marginalized group or a protected class doesn't mean they're right. Doesn't mean the stuff coming out of their mouth is sane. It doesn't mean they're not advocating for harm. It doesn't mean that they're not a stochastic terrorist. Right? We need to remember that sometimes. Wilhelm, fair enough. Uh, M9000, no, I'm not saying it's especially bad because he's black. I'm saying that in certain leftist circles, we uh, they would forgive and um, couch his statements because he's black. And the fact of the matter is, is that take away the race protections from him for a second and deal with the ideas not the man deal with the ideas the ideas that man was putting forth would have would lead to the outright rape and murder of people in our society straight up it, it's it's not even like oh in in 10,000 steps no it's like five steps it's, it's like a handful of steps. You go from what he's advocating for to open execution of trans people in the street. Straight up. It, it's, it's not even complicated. Yeah. It is highly problematic. Nice, Rev. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Joe. Religion really is the worst brainwasher scam of all time. Chris, it really is. Oh, Jesus. Uh, you got doxxed by Stormfront, Leah? That, pff, Jesus Christ. <sighs> wow, Leah. That's a whole thing. That's a whole thing. <laughs> yeah, well, eh, well, I'll repurpose it. Food Not Bombs can have it. <laughs> Sven. Um, yeah, we don't need another Hitler. Um, I, you know, yeah. Yeah, no, uh, track. I think I think they should. I, I uh, George Collin was right, Papa. He was. Let me guess. Half the people. Is that is that what you're after, George? Uh, with George, could be another one. Um, track. I I much prefer people like him be able to speak their mind. I want him to be able to talk and speak 
because that's why he was like, well, what are you going to yeah, shit like that? Because I'm querying him. I'm trying to figure out. I'm using Socratic, uh, you know, a, a Socratic method to try and figure out what the dude is about. What he's about is fear and hate. That's what he's about. He will couch it in terms like, oh, no, it's about love. It's about me caring about your eternal soul. No, it's about you causing more suffering and harm in this world through your twisted ideology. I refuse to let that happen. I refuse to sit by and abide by that. But for me to know what he's up to, he's got to run his mouth. Let him run his mouth. Let him take the mask off. I mean, let's face it. Some of the ideas that he was putting forward, if he were wearing a clan hood, you wouldn't be surprised. It's the same shit. Just repackaged and repurposed with hip hop. Hey, um, People's, Par People's Party, are you whiterosesociety.com? Is that you? Um, there's Sophie. She's one of my heroes. Uh, premarital. Yes, the rapping for Jesus guy is gone. I ended up banning him from the Discord server and removing him from air when he started advocating for a theocratic state in which we would be governed by Abrahamic laws, and he started expressing his uh, discontent, um, fear, and hatred for trans people and gay people. So what I did is I showed my fingernails on stream. I got up and twirled my skirt. Actually, what I did was I said, I like to suck big black cock, showed my fingernails, and then twirled my skirt and he pulled me off his stream and started melting down like the snowflake little bitch he was. Ah, okay. Peoples, duly noted. Shoot, we lost our theocratic Christian supremacist rapper. Um, yeah, Leah, this, this is, this is, this is half the reason why this is, that's it. That's half the reason why I wear a skirt and fucking, uh, paint my fingernails is to shut people like that down. He has no, he has no intellectual autoimmune system for it. He can't. He's literally defenseless against a skinny white dude in a skirt. How fucking, like, how sad is that? How sad is that? that a skinny white dude in a skirt can just twirl and shut you down. That's pathetic. That's fucking pathetic. That's some, that's some little dick energy if there ever was. Yeah. Marcus, I mean, I'm also defenseless against dudes in skirts, but that's a different thing. Respect, Marcus. Oh, shit. I got like, um, all right. Bear with me. He was molding because his pee pee got hard. Um, all right. Where is this one? This one's here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yes, Viva, he's gone. Um, he's gone. I, I broke him. Um, 
I just recapped this, but I broke him. I, I basically, I said that I like to suck big black dick and then I got up and sp twirled in my skirt and he, he pulled me from his stream. He started melting down. Um, and then I wished him well and banned him from our discord server and removed him from the air. Uh, Leah, I think he, he was going to have a stroke too. I, yeah. Like, I hope he's on his, I hope he's on his blood thinners and heart medication. Um, for sure. Um. Jesus. Different kind of stroke. Uh. Um, oh, Rev, I'm sorry your back hurts. Um, and Mitre, good to know. Thank you for the update. Um, oh, peoples, welcome to the Discord server, by the way. Um, I need a palate cleanser. Um, Leia, I don't know why either, um, but welcome um i need a palate cleanser who wants to come on air with me which one of you fuckers want to volunteer uh his stream is already done he <laughs> holy shit really Bryston or Bryson or whatever the fuck this dumbass's name is. He also makes his videos only his VODs only available to subscribers. Follower only chat. Oh, I'm just a boomer. I don't fucking I did I don't know anything about Twitch. He's got follower only chat and he's got subscriber only VODs. Yep. Grift for God. Yep. No, Cupcake. No, it is not. Um. No, that that is... You have to turn that on. Yeah. God is a grift. Yep. I got gifted a sub to Bryson once. All right, Cave. Um, there are clips of me on his page. <sighs> report them there just report them just report the clips for me there you go um yeah just 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 report him Yeah, that's that's all I have to say about this at this point. Like he's he's done the the typical like crazy shit. Just feel free, feel free to report him. Um, either way, I'm moving. Um, I'm moving past this idiot. I I, I can't I I can't. It's it's sad that he exists. It's 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 depressing that he, he even exists. If we had a better educational system, if we had less religious zealotry, you know, maybe, maybe, but yeah. 
Um, because I'm going to make a drink. Yeah. Um, so which one of you fuckers? I, I'm literally who who wants to be my palate cleanser? Somebody who isn't in to absolutely batshit insane, or at least insane in all of the good ways. Like somebody who isn't a Christian nationalist who wants to like purge entire segments of our population. Jump on air with me so we can have a fucking conversation, please and thank you, because that I need I need a palate cleanser. <clears throat> um. Who wants to know about this film in like seventh grade pushing for an independence movement? Hey, there we fucking there's somebody who's absolutely fucking what's up, rabbit? Uh, let's see. New language. Jesus Christ, Sven. Um uh, Rabbit, I don't hear you. Fucking A. Cave. I'm going to ban you, Cave, if you're not careful. I'm I'm going to remove you from the Discord server, Cave. I, this is I'm warning you. I'm literally warning you, Cave. You are going to push the line. This is not the moment to fucking push. Like, is this really? You like Cave? You're like, hey, you know, um. This is definitely the moment for for my sh for my shenanigans. Yeah, this is definitely the right moment. I'm I'm sure Kai's in the mood. Really, Cave? I'm I'm way more fucking forgiving with your bullshit than a lot of people are. All right, just keep that in mind. Yeah, the Christo, uh, Christo fascists are out. Um, peoples accepted. Are you ready? Hey, uh, and hey there, Psychom. Um, I got to interact with an individual who is hugely problematic, Psychon. That sort of <clears throat> put me in a mood. Um, yeah. He's a Christian nationalist and a rapper who who raps about like anti-trans, anti-gay, pro-Trump, pro-Republican bullshit. He believes that the United States should be governed by Abrahamic law. And when I asked him if trans people should be purged, he responded in an affirmative. And yeah, his chat literally talks about beating their kids. His fucking, his song talks, it glorifies the black milieu beating their children as well. It was, it was painful. It was painful. Let me just put it that way. Oh, thank God. Somebody who's fucking sane. And I, yeah, it's actually Gemma. Uh, let me hang on. There's your volume. Hey, Kai. How you doing? I, you know, I would be better if Christian nationalists didn't exist. You and me both. <laughs> that that's just just you know that's a thing. That's a thing. Give me give me one second. Yeah, no worries. So hi, chat. Hope you're well. Um. You might know me better as Story Girl, um, random trans person, right. leftist, blah blah. There we That's go. That's it. Me done. Intro. Yes, intro Austra to yes, Australian. Um, you are identifying that correctly. Yes, very much Australian. Um, Although South Australian, which means that uh, no convicts come in my history. <laughs> um. <laughs> Yes, yes. Um, 
fucking let's see what was what are they? Yeah, Austrian, huh? Yeah, exactly, Austrian. Um, yes, Sven, <laughs> Sven, yes. Um, generally, I wouldn't ask that way, but yes. Um, seriously, how does someone justify being a Christian and also a nationalist form a biblical perspective? Dude, 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 you're looking for ideological consistency with a, uh, with, uh, with a Christian nationalist. Come on, man. Like that's, that's like the King of the Hill meme with like, you know, if those kids could read, they'd be real, uh, they'd be upset with you right now. Hey, come on. <laughs> what you, what we are do? talking about the kind of people who think that. Jesus Christ was white, right? Oh, probably, as, which is hilarious given he's black. Yeah. No, not Jesus, the guy we're talking about. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, objects permanent, object permanence is in their strong suit. Yeah, it, it's it's always hilarious to, to so you see that in action. It's fucking sad and pathetic. Either way, um, let's see, you were married to a woman 25 years ago. Oh, oh, Jesus, peoples. I'm uh, sorry to hear that, but... Um, Hey, choking on ashes. What's up, mama? Um, <laughs> I, I realized how a bit late how absurd my path of inquiry was. Yeah. Um, so sorry. I, I just need to jump in with one quick thing. Uh, young uh, Einstein was Yahoo serious, Revroth. Uh, there you go. Um, so. Oh fuck me, peoples! Jesus Christ! I'm sorry, man. That's rough. That's rough, man. Yeah, that's rough. Um, I Sorry mean, unless, 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 unless you didn't like him, <laughs> in which case, you know, I suppose a different uh, set of words should be used. But if you had a traditional parental ch child parental relationship with them, then I'm sorry to hear that, man. That's rough. Um, dude, past three years have been a nightmare. Dude, fucking. Uh, it's 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 just one um yeah it, just see the hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy on this one um and, and then the, god created the universe and that was widely seen as a mistake <laughs> that's uh -huh. you know mm. um and then disappeared in a puff of logic <laughs> yep uh oh shit i'm i'm getting i'm getting messages um like that but not um i i'm i'm i have re-entered the uh the sort of um <clears throat> will will for lack of a better term let's let's go with dating uh i have re-entered the dating scene um and i'm just you know responding to messages that's all <laughs> oh nice um uh, no, I haven't choking. Uh, I have not heard of Alpha Course. Apparently, it's some British evangelical group. Lovely. Um, I'm sure they're fucking special. Um, so, what did you? Um, you're, you're like, what time is it for you right now? You're like next tomorrow. You're tomorrow and something. Tomorrow afternoon. There you go for you. Um, uh, but to me, you're yesterday night. Or yeah. Actually, no, you're probably close to. No, you you you'd be about seventeen hours. We're behind, we're nine so. we're nine forty five at night right now. Yesterday, yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> we're living in as as is typical in the U.S. We're living in the past. Um, it's pretty much part of the course here. Um, oh, you're breaking up pretty bad there, Gemma. Um, that, uh, get, be sure to like yell at the dude who like, uh, who holds the, uh, the, the satellite dish up on the edge of the Island. He, he needs to adjust it. He's slacking. Um, <laughs> complete robot, complete robot. Hey there. Nonsense. Is that, you can hear that too? Yes, yes. It's, it is, okay. it's not just you. It's Gemma's actual connection. Gemma is, is on, uh, on the, you know, uh, near the edge of the earth in Australia. So occasionally the, you know, the dingo that's responsible for like packing the, uh, the, the antenna around the island, you know, chases a fucking rabbit or something and they lose the signal. Yeah. It's a whole thing. Also, the, the wombats, uh, 
love tasty, crunchy things, which uh, and your fiber See, tends there, to and, resemble. There you go, and your back. So yeah, whatever, whatever Bogan you've got fucking in charge of the antenna <laughs> right now. He's 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 put the beer down. He's fucking back on the job. So <laughs> that's right. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I, I've done nothing to fix it except pull my mic closer to me, just in case it was the um, uh, <gasps> the voice activation chop, chopping and. Hey, so. congratulations, Adam. Um, congratulations. Uh, People's Party, if you need technical help, st- stop by the Discord server. We will help you. It's it's We've got multiple technical people, and in the worst case scenario, I can do it as well. Like, we've got many people who can assist you in this sort of thing. Stop by the server, put your problems in, like, the commons or something tag me or something like that and we'll, we'll get you sorted we'll get you sorted adam congratulations for not losing like 37 hours worth of like adderall fueled work there um hey he was there it, it was their own ambition he did fucking straight up said it himself um yeah fucking psycom can help you dude we'll we'll get you straightened out don't worry like somebody can help you we, we'll make sure um if it's audio problems i'm one of the people we can probably do do that helping um so yeah like oh man nonsense were you around for much of it i caught the end of it i love how the show is opening up and now having christian rappers on i I hope you make this a regular thing oh yeah that's definitely um i'm also gonna i'm gonna go uh track down mxpx and get them to do a gig for me as well while we're at it we might as well get some christian punk bands up in here too you know i just i just caught the very end of that 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 was pretty wild i didn't i missed the part where i you said that you said at some point when i was trying to gather what was going on that he was pro-isis Oh, well, he was advocating for Sharia law. He, he believes that um, the United States should be governed by, um, by Christian law with an Abrahamic interpretation. Yeah, I, 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 well, I, I heard him say that, you know, America is a Christian nation and that, you know, all Abrahamic religions more or less have the, the same ideas. And you were like, no... You're full of shit. And he's like, I'm just going to make shit up and say whatever. I do fork knife, bro. And then maga, maga, maga. It was weird. Yeah. It was, you know, it's, it's, uh, yeah. I wondered fucking how much of that you caught. Non- may no- may, may non- I say that he's, he's giving the Christian rap community a bad name. <laughs> they're, they're really great stuff. <laughs> if you go out and search for Christian rap, you're only going to find the best people doing the best work. The Lord's work, if you will. Yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> nonsense. Non- <laughs> nonsense is one of the OGs for those that don't know uh, from way back in the day before the Twitch era and has seen some infighting, the likes of which you fucking Twitch people have cannot even begin to comprehend. <laughs> so <laughs> actually, actually, you're the entire reason I have Twitch. I remembered this earlier because I remember I went into your show one night and you were like, fuck nonsense you got to come over here this is awesome get here and i'm like fuck twitch man i'm not doing that and you're like do it hey just make an account and follow me because i need like whatever and i was like all right man so i did that (laughs) and fast forward a fucking like half a year later nonsense finally drags his punk ass over to twitch um yes i like it here not enough randos but i like it um yeah to get the randos you got to really fucking bait them out with the stream titles um, that's, yeah. that's where the heavy lifting gets done is stream titles. Like you, wait, yeah. wait you mean I don't count as a rando? <laughs> I, I thought I was absolutely a rando. If you, if you showed up tomorrow on nonsense's <laughs> stream, then you would be a rando. Um, <laughs> but on mine, no, you are not. Um, so yeah. Um, you Twitch people, you Twitch people. What's that supposed to mean? It's supposed to mean you Twitch people. Um, <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, it, it's, it's, we, we've seen some shit, man. The Podbean crew has seen some shit. Let's just put it that way. Um, yeah, we're, we're battle hardened. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, there's, there's no amount of infighting Twitch can, y- y'all can pull yeah. off that will even be, ever be comparable to the shit we went through. <laughs> I'm waiting for some hairy shit to happen because I love hairy shit. I love it. 
I, I, it's my, it's, it's my jam. I'm into it. But I learned something tonight. It was funny because you mentioned it too. And right when, right when you know, I'm done with my show. I, my show is kind of taken over by somebody who, like, I care about and wanted to check in on. So I didn't get to, I didn't get to do my thing. But it's fine. I'm tired anyway. But I, I, I leave. I go up. I lay next to some sense, and she's like, "Watch this shit." And I'm like, what? And she took a picture of the screen because she went in there and she was like, followers only chat, right? Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, that's, I think that's what you're supposed to do. And she's like, well, why the fuck are you doing that? And then like right after she said that, you're like, yeah, he's got followers only chat. That's some boomer level shit. And I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> dude, you got you to gotta turn that shit off. That's, that's coercive. <laughs> Like, I, I want to say, I want to say what's up or like, what's this channel about? Or like, Hey, what's going on? And he's sort of saying, you're like, you're, you're extorting a follow out of me. Like, yeah. I had no, I thought you did that for like troll control. Like, I don't know, but I want more trolls. So I guess it makes sense that I wouldn't do it. Yeah. Like it just ditch that shit. Like it's, it's, I don't, I don't see the purpose of it. Somebody wants to throw, but, throw you a follow. They'll throw you a follow. But let me ask you a question. This is, this is what I was concerned about. If somebody says some like really fucking gnarly shit in my chat and I don't catch it, isn't that terms of service on me? It it it, it isn't it isn't reflected well upon you. Yes, you are responsible for moderating your chat. Yes. Which which means if that happens and you are unable to to actually notice it happen, that's indicative of you needing mod staff. You need mods. Yeah. That's, I'm, I'm far fr I'm far from that. Nobody knows that I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, oh God, <laughs> Adia, I gotta pay the troll toll uh, to get into that boy's soul. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. So that's, that's, yeah, we, we had to, I've had to expand mod staff a few times. Um, uh, we, we did our latest expansion like last month. Um, you got, you got a whole thing going on though, man. You got a whole like, you're like a, a thing for a certain kind of gay guy who hasn't like, <laughs> come to terms with that he's gay and that he's like, you know, he's like so angry about it and he finds you. And, you know, so, I mean, there's a lot to unpack there. I mean, there's a lot going on. I, I see every time I come to your show, it happens at least once, usually at least twice. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's, it, it, I, I've, I've, yeah, sure. Cave. Um, yeah, I figured something out somewhere along the way. I figured out the format, right? Like I, I, I've, I've told people before, just, just start, just start. You, you, you will, you will always suck when you start. doesn't matter if you're riding a bike, writing a, writing a book or recording a podcast, you're going to suck. So just accept you suck. Um, and move forward. And the, the sooner you move forward, the sooner you figure some shit out. So yeah, it took me a couple of years right? Like between podcasts and like rebooting podcasts and that sort of thing and building a community and that, all the, all the associated stuff. I figured some stuff out. I know what I'm doing at this point. I kind of, I've, I've, I've got it felt out. Are you talking about finding your niche? Yeah, basically. Um, see, that's where I'm fucked. That's where I'm fucked, man. I'm never going to have a niche. I'm the most nicheless motherfucker. I'm so all over the place. I mean, you've, you've apparently honed and see like, what's weird to me is like, I don't sense it. But it's there. It's so there because I see the evidence. I, I For the record, I'm just going to quickly throw in here. If you're uh, looking for your niche, there's no better place to look than under your thighsh. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> um, I loved it. That's how I roll, Kai. That's, that's, how that's I roll. democracy hey, manifest hey, hang right on. there. There you go. Um fucking yeah that was solid dad joke territory it really was um <laughs> hey look i'm i'm 50 i'm trans i lived as a man for over 40 years fair enough Shit happens <laughs> fair enough um yeah no i think i think you've got a niche that you can fill on uh, nonsense i just don't think you've you've filled it out yet that's all i i think there's you, something there though do you think it's blue lives matter it is, it is definitely thin blue line, blue lives matter. Yeah. I, I think, dude, I think you could, I think you could run a right wing grift. I think that'd be hilarious. I oh no, I totally could. I totally yeah. could. I speak their fucking language. Yeah. I could be totally Colbert, but that's not really what I want. I mean, that's so tiring. What I want to do is fucking escape that. That's originally, what, I mean, like I just, 
can't just a part of my life not be dominated by these fucking assholes, man? I'm from Kansas, man. It's fucking terrible. Um, wait, wait, what? Um, fucking what am I, what am I seeing here, Cassidy? Why are you tagging me with that? I almost cried. I almost um, cried. It's, it needs Discord help. Okay. Um, what's what's your issue there, uh, peoples? Um, what do you what do what, what do you what are you having trouble with? <laughs> Um, Where's my mum joke license, peoples? <laughs> um, all jokes. I don't need no license. Jesus, all jokes, man. I'm an anarchist. What is a mom joke? Oh, I don't. Uh, it's a dad joke. Told oh, by a okay. Trans um, peoples, uh, look for look for the checkbox. Seems like it would have a different style. Look look for the checkbox at the bottom of that statement. Tap it or click it, depending if you're on mobile or on a on an actual computer. Just just ch- click the ch- the checkbox. Things should happen. Um, yeah. If you get your feet wet, you get uh, you get a cold as a mom joke. Oh, God. Um. I. Uh. At least it's not in my head as badly as that one dude. Um. God, I don't remember his name. No, wait, I do. What was that dude's name? Um. Terror. That dude bummed me out for like two days. I'm not kidding you. He was such. He was recent, wasn't he? Yeah, he was like last week, maybe the week before. Dude, that that uh, that dude bummed me out for like two days, because by the end of it, yeah, 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 sure, he's a chud and he's fucking, you know, espousing all this like bullshit, homophobia, transphobia, shit, right? But it was pathological. Like it, 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 by the end, you could tell like this dude, he had issues. Like th- this is like medication therapy territory, right? You're like, you're broken, man. Like you're actually broken. Like you're not just brainwashed. You, you, there's, there's something going on here and I'm, I'm starting to feel sorry for you. And yeah, that, I run into that. Did he call in? No, no, okay. there's no way we'd let him fucking near, near a mic. Um, Peace be upon y'all. <laughs> Thanks, Papa. Um, peop, uh, people's party. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't fucking. There you go. I can manually welcome you. Um. <clears throat> all right. Some shit should happen for you, people's party. So if you haven't left, then look, look, look at the server now. Um. Uh, monkey like he i don't even i don't even remember what all his deal was all i remember is i hit the end of it i was like man that was depressing um you being really pissed and there was a bunch of stuff going on in chat but i actually i was trying to see what was going on but i couldn't like meet trey was like my news reporter there because i always if i can't see what's going on i usually try to pick out meat and see what he's <laughs> doing and then like i couldn't figure out what was going on but i could tell you were like way pissed and i'm like what is this guy even say it Um, you got to have these guys. Here's here's two things that got to got to happen, right? One of them, you got to do a survey. It's like, would you like to take an exit survey? How did you learn about proudly radical? But also, <laughs> I I wish we were all on the same page. Like when this happens, where it's like, you know, we're all like being ourselves. We're all doing normal shit. And then in comes the Christian rapper. Where does he come from? Who the fuck knows? Who the fuck cares? But he's here, right? And then so, like, we really lay into him, like, normal, right? So then he goes on, and he plays his beautiful Christian rap. And then we're like, oh, shit, we have seen the light. You know, MAGA. And we all, like, act like we're fucking totally on board, like he won, like he converted us, you know? And then just, like, really, like, put the hammer down on that and see what happens. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've definitely seen the light. Um... I, I just I just I don't get it, man. I don't get it. Like there's there's a fundamental part of my brain that cannot wrap itself around this idea. Why do you give a shit? <laughs> like Yeah. I, I, I just think like it's like fundamentally like a New England state of mind or something or progressive. I don't know, but I've had it my entire fucking life. Like as a Vermonter, this is sort of a Vermont thing. Like it just like is your neighbor like shitting on your property? No. Then why do you care if your neighbor is shitting on his property? Are you talking about him freaking out because you're wearing a skirt and you got 
you well, just, just it, not even, that. not even that. Like that was just like, of course he fucking, like, of course he freaked out at that. But I mean, the fact that he's freaking out about the, you know, trans people running around with their fucking mental illnesses and it's a slippery slope. And now because they wanted marriage, fucking society is falling apart. You know, yeah. you're like, dude, who gives a shit? Right. Like I, I think that oh, fundamentally I'm, it's a very primitive mindset where it was like, you know, was as animals were tuned to, you know, it's seeing what's strange about our neighbors around us and trying to like remedy it. You know, it's something like that. And if somebody doesn't grow out of it, they're just fucking obsessed with it. I just, I, I just can't imagine having that much energy. Right. No shit. Right. Like that's, that's, that's sort of how I approach it. It's like, how, how do you have enough energy to give a shit about something like this? <laughs> Maybe if I started huffing, I could become an ignorant fucking asshole again, and I could get more energy. I'm tired all the time, dude. I know, right? Like, that's... <laughs> fuck it. I, I don't I don't understand these people. I really don't. And the, the advocating for Abrahamic fucking, f- fucking law in America. Jesus goddamn Christ. Fucking, yeah. And as a and as a black man, it's like, oh, yeah, because we've never weaponized the Bible against your people before. Yeah. Do you really? I mean, it is the whole fucking basis. I mean, it's do you like really you go want back to open that when, door. When that was going. Yeah. It's like, well, yeah, we need to we need to bring the Lord to him. You know. Like, do you really want to open that door, my man? Are you sure? <laughs> like that seems like that might be counterproductive for you. <laughs> but hey, you know, you do you. I guess. Um, you got a great job. For- Great job getting 30 bucks out of him, and actually that can be used in the future to cancel him with his culture because he just paid a gay guy 30 bucks to hang out hang out with him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly, people. So I have this real moron thing I do. It's called thinking. Yeah, good old. I miss George. I miss George Carlin. Man. Um, Sorry, I was just going to quickly say, I think one of the reasons, uh, one of the biggest reasons that a lot of these people are like that when I say these people, I mean bigots in general, but also specifically um, people who are really hard believers in stuff like Christianity and that sort of thing and, and use that to weaponize their bigotry is, I think it's a so- psychosocial developmental issue. Like, I, I honestly don't think they've really done separation of self properly. Right. Because, yeah, because they're, they're they can't. they're kind of stunted. Yeah, uh, uh, and because they can't conceive of the, the possibility of, of anyone wanting to think any differently to them, when right. someone does, they find it really problematic and troubling. And it's like, well, but but I think like this. Why doesn't everyone else? And and that it, that drives a lot of the anxiety and the the anger and the. It's again, the, it's so foreign to me yeah. because well, one, my mother ensured I had a proper education. Um, mm-hmm. But I mean, it's just, yeah, fucking like, I, yeah, Rev, it's called a Christian. I, I said like earlier, I was like, dude, we could fix this just by making sure that, you know, education minus um, fucking religious bullshit, like religious brainwashing, like that would fix him in an instant, right? He wouldn't exist if he had a proper education and we didn't allow Bible thumpers to brainwash children. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He needs to branch out. He needs to get the cur- he needs to get courage enough to branch out Sven. and go out and see the world and experience things. He seems to be very very sheltered. Sven, all right, Sven, I'm concerned about what you're doing over there, Sven, but I'm not going to think about it too much. Uh, I have to do a Sven. I have to do a, a spin for Sven. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that that little slip up in what I said is going to fucking do wonders for Sven. <laughs> I, I love this bit. I love how it's executed. It's Oh, I, I love the fact that oh, Kai yeah. was so uh, careful to uh, make sure that the skirt didn't ride up. Yeah, Both I know. Both times I've seen him spin that thing today. It's done in a very gentlemanly way. Oh. In a very, a oh, very it's, studied It's very way. demure. And <laughs> it's, it's like, why would you watch the Olympics when you have this? I mean, it's this is athleticism right here. This is, this is, this is a man honing his craft. <laughs> really... Really got it figured out here. Cheers, nonsense. Oh, um, Kai, since it seems you have some entertaining company, uh, I, I'm going to duck back out. Okay, I've got Jim. some snags on the uh, 
cooker anyway, so uh, rather than chewing in your ear, I will um, go chew in my own and good luck. have a good one. Good luck on whatever writing, world building you do next. Uh, yeah. Well, at the moment, I'm I'm oh. world mining in Empyrean Galactic what's your, Survival, what's your, which is what's a really your, chill game. What's your, uh, your Twitch it. username? Like, so Story Girl. That's, uh, okay, so I can shout you out properly. Um, what is it? Is that like EVE Online or something? Uh, less multiplayer, uh, less massively multiplayer, more chill survival game with lots of building and crafting and mining and digging big holes and pulling out lots of rocks. Cool. So yep. I always liked mining in games for some reason. There's something satisfying. I don't know what the fuck it oh, is. It's I just... hate that shit. <laughs> I hate it. I hate I hate resource gathering and crafting and that sort of shit. It's like just just let me buy this shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but the building. The building is fun. Anyway, I'm going to di- dive out. Thanks you for stopping by, Gemma. And everybody go follow Gemma if you're you not too. already Catch following Gemma. Um, let's see. I'm about to play Space Engineers. Um, fucking uh, oh, Entropa Universal. Is that uh, Europa uh, Universalis? Is that fucking the one I'm thinking of? Either way, no, I hate those fucking mining, crafting, survival games. They drive me up a wall. Um. I don't know why, but, like, I, I learned about EVE Online when it was, like, on forever. And, like, you know, I hadn't played any games forever. And then I heard they were going to make a statue in Iceland if you had, like, an account by a certain time. So I was like, fuck, yeah, I'll do that. And then I just kept getting really stoned and I just, like, mining, like, rocks and shit. And there was just something really peaceful about it. Rocktropia. Mm, interesting. Um, yeah, no, it's it's just not my thing. I, I fucking... They bore me. They bore me. I'm like, I could be stabbing somebody right now. <laughs> like, why, why, why am I not stabbing somebody right now? Why am I, why am I digging? Um, Speaking of that, do you know, do you know the comedian Lemmy, L-I-M-M-Y? It sounds familiar. I don't know any he's re- bits off the top of my head. He's really weird. And he had this show and it was like the show wasn't funny except for like a couple of things. There's like this Falcon Hoof thing that I that he does that I think is hilarious, but he hadn't been around much. I I ran across it on TikTok and then I played several clips of it on my stream where he's just like a Twitch streamer now and all he does is he plays mine, Minecraft and he sets up these elaborate ways to murder these like Minecraft villagers. Like he did something where he did it like a thousand at a time and he'll like pretend like you know, these are like somebody else's parents, and like they'll set them up. It's all it's all real dark, diabolical stuff. Uh, metal, I'm with you. I hate survival games. Yeah, I I don't. Mm, I, it's just, mm. um, yeah, I like I like stabby games. Oh shit, that that reminds me. Um, fucking whichever ones like Karina. Oh no, Karina and Caboose took off because they're doing D and D tonight. Yeah, we fucking we have a crew, and there's a game being released tomorrow. <laughs> It's co-op, so we're going to be doing that shit uh, probably over the weekend, although not on Sunday. Kai's, um, <clears throat> Kai's Sundays are spoken for for uh, uh, <clears throat> the foreseeable future for reasons. Um, Lord's Day. Yes, yes, definitely the Lord. <laughs> I will, there will be, um, there, there will, I will be saying, oh God, a lot. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, in, in its, in its own way, I'm paying homage to, um, uh, Kai, uh, Kai does like Power Washer Simulator, dude. Power Wash, a uh, Power Wash sim- Simulator is amazing. That that game like, is is so much better than it has any right to be. It's like a sprayer. Yeah, yeah. It's literally just it's just a power washing simulator, and they put real work into it. Like it, that could be a, just a fucking meme game and a half. But like the very first level, you you power wash off your uh, your van. To like get that you're going to be using for your gig. Dude, all the like door crevices and cracks and like the grill work and all that sort of stuff is is modeled and textured. And you have to get in there with the the power washer correctly and stuff like that. It's way better than it has any right to be. And it is so relaxing. You throw on some music behind it and you just go to town. You throw on some headphones, throw some music on and just spray and it's oh man, that game is so good. It's so relaxing. It's meditative. You risk chipping the paint. 
Uh, no, no, they don't have that feature nice. set yet, though. Nice. You know, there's no, that's good because it, it makes the bad part because I love doing that shit in real life. But if I'm too stoned, it's like, you know, yeah, I'm it's like it's 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 forgiving. There's even a button you can tab um, and it'll highlight all of the dirt. So you, you really quickly it'll fade, but it'll highlight all the dirt. So, you know, where you missed a spot and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's really relaxing. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, <laughs> power washing in real life sucks after the first five hours anyway. Um, no, I don't know either of those people, Sven. Um, so no, I haven't been watching any of the, either of them. Um, so yeah, I, I can't speak to that, Sherry. Um, but yeah, it's, it's honestly, and it's still in early access. So like, I, honestly, like go check it out. It's a fucking brilliant game if you like that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, the, the one we'll be playing, um, is, uh, I don't even, I don't even know it's Ascent Rising or something like that. Descent Rising. What the fuck? Um, uh, let me pop open the console here and. Ascent so, Rising. That sounds like your Sundays. <laughs> um, the Ascent, the Ascent, um, the Ascent, Wilhelm knows it. The Ascent. Yeah. It's, it's a cyberpunk four person co-op RP, action RPG, um, and so, yeah, cyberpunk is it, cyberpunk four player co op. Yeah, um, it is. It, I'm I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Um, there's a few of us that have like the Xbox Game Pass. Um, they're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get in on a game. Uh, but if anybody wants to get in on a game, let me know. Um, you're more than welcome. Um, so if it's a if it's a co op, that means it's a team game. Yes, they get all play together. Cool. Yeah, they have four people in a party, and you can you know fight together um I, is it just like a fighting game or do you have like tasks no it's it's an action rpg it's a sort of iso it's sort of an isometric action rpg so it's sort of that angled top-down view um but um wow. yeah it's you know like rpg you've got quests you've got shit you gotta do gather kill all that sort of stuff but you know in the cyberpunk dystopian setting cool um so it's just practice yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> just, just, you know, plan, planning for the future, man. Um, that would be a great, like, buddy movie for, like, you know, you get a bunch of, like, old guys, you know, and they used to play, like, RPG games like this, you know, together a lot. And then it's like, the shit really does hit the fan. And they're, like, all living their lives. And they're like, we got to get the band back together. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it's, you know, yeah, I, 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 I think we're, we are already cyberpunk dystopian. It's just, we don't have any of the cool aesthetics. Yeah, it's true. Like we're already all of the evil shit that happens in a cyberpunk dystopian setting is already happening. And the only difference is that like, we don't get robot dick and nobody's rocking like weird leather, like fetish gear with neon backlit shit, like, you know, going around like that's, that's all we need more pink and blue neon lights, way more rain, more leather fetish gear and robot dicks. And then we'd be there. All the rest of it's already done. I totally hear that. And also, the infrastructure is too middling right now. It's either got to get way worse or way better. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. It's it's a little too you know, something. It's like uh, middle of the road. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking mediocre. It's pretty much humanity at this point. Uh, I just want my cute robot made. Uh, fucking. That sounds like... Um, Oh no, that's yeah, I was gonna say uh, that's that's Japanese made. That's MC Chris that I'm thinking of, uh, the Japanese made song. Um, but, Hi, did you see that? Did you see that robot shopping cart that follows you around? I've seen one before. I don't know if there's a new one or not, but I have seen that. Yeah, it's like a weird. It's like got these big wheels on the side. It's like a pink little bucket that follows you. Um, interesting. Yeah. Have you? You haven't seen one? I saw no. one on TikTok, and people were recording. They're like, what the fuck is that? And there's this girl walking around a grocery store, and this thing's just behind her with the lid open. And then she just, like, walks out, and it just follows her. She's walking down the street. Everybody's like, what the fuck is that? I don't. I mean, like, I'm not going to see anything like that for, like, at least a decade because of where I live. And I was like, well, maybe maybe Kai see that and happen in Las Vegas. No, no, that's we, – we don't, like, do that yet. Um, let's see – uh, yeah, watch here. I'm fine with that. Um, 
Okay, so I think I found it. Um, where's my I gotta find the toggle over here? Um, oh, is this like an ad for them? Yeah, yeah. Like this is the company that like at least makes this one. Oh no, this is a totally different. Let me see if I can find the one that I saw because it was it was strange. Um, Rev. Uh, audiobook of the Deathstalker saga by Simon R. Green. Um, okay. I mean, fucking, there's so much shit that, like, I, look, I love you all. I love you all. Don't get me wrong. I, I absolutely adore my community, but, I mean, I've got, I've got a, a backlog of books and audiobooks and fucking, <laughs> it's just... <laughs> <laughs> y'all just keep adding to the pile that I add to as well. It's it's a thing. Like I could I could stop streaming today and I'd have years worth of material to go through. <laughs> um Oh shit, I found it. All right. Well, toss it. Um Let's see. <laughs> Fucking Sven. Um Total dystopian space opera with lots of transhumanism. All right. All right. Uh, well, casual. The one I just showed you was actually invented, uh, was created by somebody with a, a wheelchair disability. So it was intended for people with disabilities out of the gate. Um. Oh, nice, Viva. Fuck yeah. I just put it in your Discord. Oh, okay. That's not the same TikTok video, but that's the exact same cart. These things are out and around. Goddamn boomer. I guess this one was in Italy. Because it it wasn't shared content. But the other one was in LA. (laughs) Um, Oh, shared content. It's okay. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I have no clue. I'm a It's You know how much of a miracle it is that I even made it on here? (laughs) This is, uh, oh, this is fucking CCTV. This is fucking China, China. Like, this is state fucking, fucking. This is this. Yeah, this is This is the same thing, though. Yeah. Um, could Zionists be something that the Nazis could support? Yeah, actually, skeptic. Yeah, yeah, it could. Um, Shit, it goes on its own. Piaggio. Um, and that's from 2019. They're in LA. Interesting. And I guarantee it's got some horrid music. Uh, how do you not know what a Vespa is, Rev? Um, is that is it just something the kids don't know anymore? What a Vespa is? Um, oh, Jesus Christ! I want to steal one and give it Stockholm syndrome. Cost thirty two hundred bucks. Ah. Uh, it's it's the same company that's responsible for designing Vespa. That that's that's the the tie there. Oh, I was wondering why I could still hear it. Yeah. Sorry if you could still hear that shit. <laughs> um, if Did you, you hear that video playing on my end. No, no, I've got you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you if you look up Vespa.com, it'll actually say Vespa Piaggio uh, on the title because Piaggio is who does Vespa. So, um. Yeah, so go. We'll go full dumbass white boy. We'll we'll throw the hat to the side. Um, there we go. Close. I think they're kind of cool, but it makes me nervous that the robot army is getting better because once they do, man, I mean that's it. They're, I mean they're barely even feigning, pretending right now. I mean, and Jesus. It's it's bad, dude. Every every time one of those fucking Boston robotics videos gets released, and oh goes, yeah, Jesus, goddamn Christ, people! <laughs> <laughs> like, can we not? Can we just not? Like, can we? No. I'm like, I'm like, fuck you, nerds. Why are you helping them? Don't help them. <laughs> fucking dude. Um, Patton Oswald has this old bit about um, 
having an old dad and how like um scientists every year scientists outdo themselves so, like medical it, like you see the article every year about how like you know and a medical breakthrough medical breakthroughs have allowed a 73 year old woman to give birth and you're like yeah like imagine having that conversation as a kid the miracle of life with your fucking parents well sit down son when you when a man loves a woman he takes a beta blocker a viagra and a a dropper full of blood thinner and then he amounts his woman in direct defiance of god and then nine months later you were born which i will now demonstrate by pushing this uncooked cornish game hen <laughs> through these gray drapes <laughs> and he goes and fucking and we're all like science yay and nobody yeah. ever took a moment to uh, say should we science yeah. all about coulda never about yeah, shoulda not, yeah that's right yeah oh my god oh yeah rev i, I forgot the sheet part yeah for sure um yeah it wasn't a it wasn't a perfect one-to-one -one for it uh, it was abbreviated. Oh yeah, no. Uh, the the fucking the NYPD one. Wait, wait, I just do this now too. Um, the NYPD one is the is the uh, Boston Robotics spot. It's the it's the dog, um, which I gave demonstration on stream one night using the user manual for from uh, Boston Robotics as to how to shut them down. They have a manual uh, disc. They have a they have a button on the back of them. There are pinch points that you should never get near. They will literally cut your fucking finger off. Like seriously, there are pinch points at the joint, uh, the where the joints articulate on those spots that can easily just crush a fucking finger, no problem. But there is a spot on its ass, essentially. It is it, right now. It's a blue light. If you look for a fucking button that looks lit, backlit blue, that button, when pressed, will physically disconnect the power supply to the electronics in uh, in this spot robotic dog so if you can get behind it and like put put your finger up its ass basically the battery will physically disconnect like there's there's a breakaway uh for the battery the battery's not going to fall out but there's an actual physical connection that gets disconnected and the thing is dead instantaneously i i demonstrated on stream when i, I walked everybody through it how to disable that fucking robot dog a lot easier than what I was gonna do. I was gonna get a robot dog whisperer. Fair enough. <laughs> um, Seems to be a lot quicker fix. Uh, is it illegal to have an EMP in the U.S.? Yes, Rev. It is. An EMP is an, uh, a, a a device that produces a uh, significant EMP that would disrupt other electronics is illegal under numerous FCC um, uh, codes. Yes. An EMP device that could produce a sufficient field that would shut down something like a Boston Robotics uh, spot dog. Yes, highly illegal. Do you do you remember um, Elon on Joe Rogan? Elon Musk on Joe I Rogan. Didn't, I didn't watch it, man. I didn't watch it. I, oh, I can't. If you watch any of them, watch that one. I, I can't, man. I can't. But Elon says this thing. Elon says this thing where he's like, you know, he's talking about AI and everything. And he's like. Robots are going to be moving so fast. Pretty soon, you're going to need a strobe light to see them. And I was like, "Fuck, dude." Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, uh, a premarital. Um, it it's easy enough for the pigs to do, yes, but um, a spot can be carried. They aren't so heavy that you a, a, a well-built human being can't lift them. So if you disconnect the power supply, it can now be damaged. The, you know how heavy they are? I was thinking like 40, 50 pounds. Um, no, they weigh more than that, but let me check. Um, uh, they the Most of the things that protect them from um, being damaged are um active gyroscopic stabilization stuff and once you yeah. kill the power supply and you knock this fucker to the ground things can get damaged pretty easily um yeah 
You're thinking 170? Um, it looks, no, 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 uh, not that, not that bad. Um, baseline, no modules. Um, so just the dog, just spot, B they have other stuff. Like it's a modular thing. You, so just the framework is 65 pounds. 65 pounds. Okay. Yeah. We, before they start putting shit on it. Um, it just under 66. It's like 65 and something. It's um, it's modular. Can you put like a snowplow on it? <laughs> basically. <laughs> fucking they're going to put a goddamn rifle on it. You know it. Um, they um, they run for approximately uh, 90 minutes on a charge. Um, so they got about an hour and a half out of usage of them. There, I think there is um, I think there's an extended battery that they use as well. Um, but yeah, basically if you turn it off, you can flip it. And if you can flip it, you have access to the battery pack. And once you have access to the battery pack and it, like, this sounds like a lot, this could be done in under six seconds. Probably you fucking, you run, you walk up, you push the button, you kick it over, you pop the battery out, you're, you're gone. And the thing is you functionally useless at that point. So, so when the, so when the dog shows up, like talk slow and then pull your phone out and like watch it, watch a you know, decent little funny flick. But the cops there lasts about ninety minutes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. As soon as it's over, take off running. <laughs> uh, premarital, in fact, <laughs> does it have a battery saving mode that it only attacks people of color? In fact, it's one of the first things the NYPD did is fucking use it to like do a, a like a test patrol in a predominantly Latino and black neighborhood. <laughs> it's the first thing they did. Oh my God. <laughs> Fuck. You can't even. Hey, have you, heard any, have you heard anything else about that fireworks truck? That just reminded me of that. That firework tr fireworks truck in like LA where they blew it up and they damaged all those fucking houses. Oh, no, I haven't heard any more about that though. No. Okay. Yeah. I just wondered. Um, Karina, welcome back. You missed a thing. You missed a thing. I'll just have to catch you up after stream, Karina. You you you, you missed a thing, um, for sure. Um, yeah, I haven't heard any more about that. Did you see the 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 fireworks victim um, that I put in shared content earlier today? Fucking, uh, if you let's see, if you go to shared content on the Discord server here, let me. I will get you. Oh, I see it. I just went up and I see it now. <laughs> right. I literally, hey there, fellow kids. You know what's super cringe and not based AF at all? Shooting fireworks off from your ass. This message brought to you by ER staff everywhere. Um, I cannot show this photo on stream. If you're on the Discord server, go to shared content, scroll up a ways until you see that message or you see a spoiler, like, hidden image. Feel free to click it. Um, yeah, Zippy, I hollered. Um, it, it is, um, yeah, it's, it's bad. It's bad. Like it's it's bad. That that woman may die. Like she may die from that. Oh like, my god. Yeah. That that is that is peri perianal um third degree burns are some of the most dangerous things that you can encounter. Um they are incredibly difficult to heal. You have to have um like a fecal tube installed. You're she's looking at a minimum of a year of hospitalization as a result of that. I'm not kidding you. It is it is absolutely devastating to have that kind of injury. Um, all because she stuck a fucking firework in her ass and tried to light it and fire it off. Like a, what kind of firework? Like a rocket? Bottle rocket. Like not a bottle rocket, but yeah, a standard fire firework rocket. Yeah. I guarantee what happened. Guarantee what happened. Uh, without even seeing the the, the video. What she, what happened is she stuck a fucking like the stick between her cheeks. They lit it. The the plume, the the rocket, uh, the rocket uh, exhaust hit her ass. She clenched up, and then it just stayed there, and just burned the ever loving fuck out of her, um, to the point of extensive third degree burns. Yeah, I've seen some tattoos like that though. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 bad uh did you see that did you see that teen girl a couple of years ago who lit her pussy on fire for like instagram she's like do it she's like doing like a video where like her, her pussy's on fire and then she actually like literally lit her pussy on fire 
No. It was so fucked up. Jesus it was so Christ. F- she was immediately regretted it. <laughs> I can't, really? Really? She immediately regretted yeah. lighting her fucking <laughs> pussy on fire. I can't imagine why. I can't imagine. I can't, it's, just, it's so shocking to me that that's it's an immediate regret. Interesting. Interesting. Um, imagine if she didn't, though. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I told you. <laughs> Gemma, for the record, folks. Uh, this means that when people talk about doing uh, poppers for anal, they don't mean fireworks. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, no, it, it, it's, it's bad. It's bad. Um, and yeah, um, uh, Cassie posted a, a Reddit link to another one where there's a, a nurse who describes the extensive procedures that will have to you will have to endure as a result of this it is it it is life-changing to have that kind of injury in that like that's a pretty bad one it's a pretty visceral and graphic example of it but i've seen what dozens and dozens of videos of that now dudes sticking fucking fireworks in their ass and then it doesn't go anywhere and it just burns the fuck out of them and they you see them run off and the video ends we never see what happens after well that's what happens after that's what it looks like it looks like third degree burns on a perianal area which is going to be a nightmare to heal it's absolutely it's it's just horrific could you imagine being the surgeon too it's like, I have this gift. I've really studied hard for it. I'm here to save lives and everything. And I'm here spending hours and hours trying to repair somebody's ass because they stuck a fucking firework up it. Days and weeks and months of reconstructive surgeries and fucking anti, uh, antibacterial treatments. And the, oh, I don't know man. if you guys, I don't know the, the technical name for the, ter- the tool. There is a very hyper specialized tool that burn units use. And it's essentially a skin peeler. It, it, it is, it is horrific. They fucking like to get dermal layers that are usable to do sc- skin grafts in that area. They, they take this essentially like just cheese greater sort of shit that it just slide it across skin to fucking peel it up it is the amount of stuff that that poor woman is going to have to endure because of that one moment of stupidity is near just unfathomable she's gonna end up with an opioid uh, opioid addiction too they're gonna have to put her on high-end opioid uh, opioids for extended periods of time. She is going to be sedated for a month. I'm not kidding you. It she will be heavily sedated. I assume they're gonna have to have her use a colostomy bag for a long time too. It's they literally insert a. It's called oh, it's called a mesher. Thank you, Cassidy. Yeah, it's fucking. It's it's a brutal tool. Um, they will insert a, a, a rectal plug of sorts, a tube. Uh, it's a rectal catheter um, if they can get in there successfully. If not, then, yeah, they'll, they'll fucking do a bypass in a colostomy bag. If, if they can get in there, they'll do a, a rectal catheter that goes up uh, you know, six to ten inches. Um, but then to make sure that the, the tubes don't get plugged, they have to keep you basically pumped full of laxatives. At the same time. Oh my God. Because you're going to be on opioids. So you're going to be yeah. constipated anyway. It's dude. I'm telling you, she's going to be sedated for a month. She's going to come out of it as an opiate addiction. She's going to look at a, a year of hospitalization, a fucking lifetime of like just being deformed as a result of it. Um, and that's if she doesn't die of an, an infection in the meantime, it, it's Yeah. It's like, holy shit, people don't fuck. Just don't fuck around with fireworks like that. It's bad enough. People hold on to it and then lose a hand. Do not put it in your fucking pussy lips or your ass cheeks or in your fucking dick hole or whatever the fuck peep stupid people do. I don't, I don't need to tell my community this. Like I'd fucking, but pass it on people, pass it on. Take what you learned here. When you see your dumb drunk friends start to fuck around with fireworks, like, whoa, 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 whoa. We don't do that here. <laughs> uh, yeah yeah i'm the i'm the party pooper yeah i'm not looking for my friends to suffer in the hospital for a year <laughs> like you could you can talk shit all you want like yeah and this has been a very special proudly radical
Starting off tonight with some good, wholesome Christian rap. And now we're talking about a very important message and a very important subject, which is firework safety. <laughs> Don't stick them in your pussy lips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I just fucking A, people. I fucking A. Um, yeah, Zippy, I have limited sympathy or something wrong with me. Like this, see, this is the thing. <sighs> If we were talking COVID vaccine denier territory and shit like that, like, fuck them. Fuck them. If they die, they die, right? It's it's about the rest of us. That sort of shit, though, that's the sort of thing that you do one night on a drunken dare as, a like, a teenager or a 20-something when you're young yeah. and dumb and shit, and it's life-changing. It's a single moment in a drunken state at a party for a fucking goof, and it absolutely ruins your, your life, right? That I have huge amounts of sympathy for, right? It's, yeah. it's not like, oh shit, I ate McDonald's like 47 times a day for 12 years and now I'm 800 <laughs> pounds sort of territory. It's like, look, this, this happened in an instant. So I have sympathy for it. Yeah, when they're kids too, but she doesn't look that young. I mean, I don't know. I might be biased because of the <laughs> terrible ass injury. It might look or look, make her look a little older, but. Hello. <laughs> What's up, Dexter? What's up, Dexter's people? I, uh, this is, um, I, I stated when I started this stream, it was the lowest starting count I had had in maybe ever. Um, but I knew what was going to happen tonight. I knew it. I fucking knew it. I knew it because Kez had been raided by the serfs and Ke and he said, you know, Alex said, I'm going to raid over to you afterwards. And then many people have been raiding in just for fucking the whole night. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, how did your stream go, Dexter? Um, did you, did you, um, did you, I, it's been a weird one. It's been a weird one, man. It's been a fucking weird one. I had a, a Christian hip hop rapper dude who's a, a Christian nationalist who believes the U.S. should be governed by Abrahamic interpretations of Christian law and we should purge the transgender element from our society. Um, fucking, he paid me thirty dollars to play his his rap his rapist video on on air. Yes, I'm intentionally doing that. Um, is a whole fucking thing, man. And then like, yeah, I, I literally broke the dude's brain by getting up and spinning in my skirt. Like I literally broke his brain. I actually, what I did is I said, I like to suck big black cock, showed my fingernail polish and then got up and did a spin in my skirt and he melted the fuck down. Um, so, you know, that was interesting. Um, so welcome y'all. Um, oh yeah. Um, <laughs> uh metal beetle from the surface and i like it here ah glad i glad i can accommodate um uh, metal um so did y'all have a good stream did you did you what did what did what did you get up to dex um what did y'all do um yes it was also a wild stream uh yeah now we were just doing a fireworks safety PSA basically <laughs> because of an image I posted on a discord server earlier today. Um, it's in the air tonight, my friend. Yeah, apparently, apparently, uh, dino crisis and then made a fire jam about beams, uh, beans. Okay. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> Rev Lance raided me here seven months ago and now I'm an anarchist. Yeah, I have that effect on people. <laughs> Uh, hey, oh, fucking Salty Kerfuffle, which, by the way, great name. Uh, any use of Kerfuffle. Um, thank you for the, the, thank you for the gift subs, and congratulations to Menesty and Time to Duck. Um, yeah, I'm glad to see Kerfuffle's coming back. I agree with that. That's great. Yeah, Kerfuffle's a good word. Kerfuffle's a solid word. I like it. I, I, I respect it. Um, so logs a lot, and Ozma J. Um, you know what, um... Jesus Christ, what's your, what's your actual, uh, is it all one word, no underscore? I'm talking to you nonsense. What's that? Your, your Twitch username. Nonsense password, one word. Okay, cool. Um, <clears throat> where, he's cool people. He's cool people. Uh, I don't know how to describe him. Fucking comedy, variety, talk, shit. He's cool people. Go follow him. 
I don't have a niche. I'm here because Kai is coaching me on on finding a niche. <laughs> I've, done, I've done nonsense for a little bit. Let's just put it that way. Pre pre Twitch, pre Twitch. Um, so you know, throw him some love. Go fucking next time he's on. You. you know, say hi to him. Um, thanks, Kai. Oh, let's see. This is the Bean video. Um. Oh, Jesus Christ. I what is that? I, I can't. I can't. <laughs> All right. Already. I'm like, Jesus, goddamn Christ. All right. Hang on. Let me, let's, let's check this the fuck out. Give me a second. We'll put it on screen. Um, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is, What the fuck? How are there so many images of people putting beans into weird shit? Like it, a fucking clock, a rifle. How, how? When did this happen? Why are so many people putting beans into random shit? Uh, I, I think I can trace it back, but I can't remember the exact quote. I want to say on this video, I don't feel like I'm hearing the whole track because the track sounds really weird on my end. But and maybe it's just a really weird track. But that image of the breakfast on the bed, I think, is so fucking great. I I I mean, holy shit! This is. Fuck it, a Dexter. Um. Mad props to the uh, the fucking kit you got though. Um, rock on. Um, did yeah, you make that? Yeah, you did. Oh, nice, nice work. I I I I, I like having the the musically uh, inclined around me. Uh, as I stated earlier, when um, M M Mit Nerd um, Jake um, was on Kez's uh, stream earlier today, and I I stopped by. Um, I, I, I have no musical theory. I have no musical talent. I have no musical experience. Uh, to, to me, music is magic. People who create music are magicians, and I'm not looking to ruin that. It's, it's the one piece of magic I have left in this world, and I, I'm, I'm absolutely never going to ruin that. I, I don't understand how musicians make music. And I, you know, I, I, I'm just, a, I'm marveled at it every time it happens. Um, so yeah, like what you do there, Dex, trust me that it's super impressive to somebody like me, uh, mad props, man. Um, yeah, it's great work. And somebody who constantly makes terrible music, like I, I can't, I suck at making music, but I, I won't stop doing it. I refuse. Nobody can stop me. I, I think that's really nicely done. I, you know, yeah, we've got like a Jake a Mint Nerd, um, but uh, in my community, uh, Mitre cranks out bangers all the time. Um, so yeah, I, 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 I quite, I admire musicians. So yeah, let's uh, finish out this, <laughs> what this is, but holy shit, man.
I think that the greatest thing art can be is singular. And I think that achieved that. I don't think there's anything quite like that. I think that's definitely an achievement. Whatever uh, particularly that is, it is what it is. And yeah. that's a fucking beautiful thing. It, it is It is representative of itself. Yeah. Congratulations. Uh, you did it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, know, I don't know what you did, Dex, but you did it. Fucking mission accomplished. <laughs> that's, I have no idea what the mission was, but the mission has been accomplished. <laughs> Uh, oh, okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, yeah, you just covered the song on stream. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, I'm the poster boy of Antifa. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, I'm the CEO of Antifa. Uh, it was declared as, I was declared as such by a crooked nose media. If y'all were wondering how I became CEO of Antifa, uh, Crooked Nose Media uh, brigaded here one night and uh, fucking declared me the CEO of Antifa, and it's stuck ever since. He was uh, he was doing the uh, his Wednesday night patrols. Where that fucking douchebag fucking brigade, brigades into left uh, left wing streamers and uses his community to fuck with them. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was. So, 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 did those sub- Rand Paul subpoenas for like the uh, the uh, flight logs and the hotel rooms for Antifa? Did the, those go to you? Yes, they do. <laughs> they do. Um, I, I, you know, I ha- my my CIA handlers because again, I'm an anarchist. So uh, according to the tankies, I work with the CIA. So you know, I, my CIA handlers hand uh, take care of a lot of that uh, administrative paperwork and those sorts of things for me, but. You know, occasionally I do see the flight logs, yeah. Um, fucking, it is, it is amazing, some of the shit these idiots get up to. Um, so about my paychecks from protesting, haven't got those in the mail yet. Um, so what you have to do is, do you have your, um, do you have your, uh, your uh, Caribbean bank account open? You need, um, you need the it, Nevis is probably the go-to on this one. If you have your bank account open on Nevis, then what you need to do is the next time you're at the Antifa, uh, the monthly Antifa meeting, be sure to bring your goat to sacrifice. But the guy who takes your goat for the sacrificial process, Larry, Larry's his name. Um, the, the next time that you, you see Larry, um, when you hand, when you, you know, turn the goat over for the sac- uh, sacrificial process, what you want to do is ask Larry for a 1090 B form. All right. That's how you and uh, that's how you actually file the paperwork to route your Soros paychecks to your Nevis bank account. That way it's untraceable that way. So just, you know, talk to Larry. He'll get you he'll get you straightened out. I think I think I understand why now everybody thinks anarchy means disorganization, because that bureaucracy you were just describing, sir, sounds like total chaos. (laughs) <laughs> uh, it's it. oh god yeah we watched that video cassidy we watched that i don't know if you were here for it but we watched that video the fucking anti-vaxxers wanting to be called antiva <laughs> a bunch of fucking karens on like a zoom meeting call like straight up just a bunch of fucking karens on a zoom meeting call i i move that we be called anti-vaxxers be called antiva i second it all right, all right, all right, Beulah. They're kind of like Activa in like sort of like a strange probiotic way. Yeah, it's it's fucking. I I don't know. Somebody, I don't have the link. Like just offhand, somebody have the link to that shit. It. I I don't I don't remember who, where, when, why, how. Um, that got that got played. Um. Hey, speaking of protesters, did you see the? Uh, Matt Gates, Marjorie Taylor Greene press conference that was really concerned about the treatment of the uh, of the uh, insurrectionists on January sixth. <laughs> I I've been I've been loving that shit. I didn't see that one, but I've been loving that the entire way oh, you through. You gotta see it. You gotta it's, fucking see it. It's fucking brilliant hearing these fucking whiny little bitches go to jail and be like, "It's inhumane. I can't. I'm being treated horribly." Yeah, that's kind of what we've been talking about for years and years and years. You prick. 
now that you're seeing it firsthand, now all of a sudden it matters. Didn't matter when it was some fucking immigrant child. It didn't matter when it was some wrongfully convicted black dude who just got accused by some rando white lady and fucking y'all threw his ass in jail without another fucking look into the case. That was totally kosher, but now it's your dumb ass? Oh, okay, now it's horrible and inhumane. Okay, yeah, sure, here's... Here's my outpouring of sympathy for you. You ready to talk about reforming the criminal justice system now, are you? Oh, interesting. Interesting how that works out. Fuckers. It's super fucking weird because you have the hearings going on in the House and you have Gates and Gomer and Green there being like, yeah, these are our people. Like, you know, just by going out there and protesting their treatment. But this thing was so fucking stupid. There's like 100 people there. Like, 80 of them are protesters. There there's this is. giant balloon of Trump that says pedophiles for Trump on it. And there's this guy who's just blowing a whistle underneath the mask, and he shuts the fucking thing down. They, like, left. Oh, they yeah, they, they called it a, um, <laughs> like, uh, what they call the whistle. They they called it an, uh, like, a v- a audible vi- tool of violence or some yeah. shit like that. <laughs> there's this bald dude who went up to him, and he's like, are you assaulting me with auditory weapons? <laughs> yeah, there you go. A fucking whistle. Um, why is this not, uh, it's not fucking loading. Um, the, 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 the Chinese, uh, surveillance technology link, uh, the TikTok link was put in chat by, uh, by Cassidy. If it loads for fucking somebody else, there you go. Um, but yeah, North Omaha cat lady, um, it's literally who posted it. Um, yeah, it, it was yeah it was a thing it was a thing it was a thing it was a thing like that's that's she she is a leftist oh god i don't fucking i don't i don't i don't i don't I, you know no just no just no i'm just no you y'all know i am firmly against purity testing i am firmly against that sort of bullshit you're not in our on our team because of reason x crap uh but no no, she's not on our team. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not putting up with it. <laughs> Poof. Oh, it was a spoof. Oh, I hope so. I hope so. Um. Let's see. Oh, shit. Kai okay, got some terrible news. Oh shit. What do you got, man? I know. I know this is. I know this show is really concerned with capitalism, and everything. But this is a tough one. Ron Popeil has died at the age of 86. Oh, shit. Ron Popeil is dead? All Ron you... fucking Popeil died. All you fucking children don't know who the fuck Ron Popeil is, but Ron Popeil is like, he's he's OG infomercial territory. Um, he's a legend. He's Yeah. He's, 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 he's only second in my heart of hearts to Billy Mays. Billy Mays is the king and will always remain the king uh, as far as I'm concerned. But fucking Ron Popeil, you know, he did some shit. Yeah. Get fishermen, spray on hair. Um, yeah, a whole bunch of kitchen gadgets. So many kitchen yeah, gadgets. Chop-o-matic. <laughs> so many kitchen gadgets. Um yeah, that's 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 a shame. I, I, I shall I shall mourn him in my own way. I shall uh, I shall recognize his passing later on. Um yeah. Um Oh my god, guess how much his fortune was when he died? A lot, probably. A fucking lot. It was more than I what I was expecting. Uh, seventy-two million. Higher. Okay, one hundred and fifty. Higher. Jesus Christ! How much? <laughs> Two hundred. Two hundred million. Two hundred million from hawking <laughs> fucking bad kitchen gadgets on late night infomercials, y'all. People are fucking stupid. People are fucking but the real, stupid. His real treasure of his course was his wife Robin, his four daughters, and his four grandchildren. Of course, yes, of course. Um. Fucking a, uh, Tathaniel Ron Popiel is a infomercial huckster type. Um, can't need fucking. There we go. Um, probably what I probably spent more time in the presence of his shows than anybody else's 
being like, you know, just passing out in front of the TV. And then it would blast for a while before the bald eagle sword and they'd play the thing and then it'd be static. Mr. Uh, battery <laughs> tester, auto cup, Mr. Microphone, food dehydrated, uh, food dehydrator, the egg scrambler, uh, Mr. Microphone 2, Mr. Dentist, um, fucking, uh, what's, what was the set it and forget it <laughs> shit? Um, I've been trying to think of the name of that because that cooking thing was huge. I bet it made a ton of money on that. Show, showtime rotisserie. <laughs> it was the Showtime rotisserie. Set it and forget it. The entire fucking bullshit extra audience that they would bring in to like be there for the infomercial would all in unison chant, set it and forget it. Anytime they, they fucking brought this up, oh, it was creepy as shit. But yeah, apparently those late night infomercials hawking cheap ass kitchen gear and shit netted him $200 million worth of an estate. So. You know, I just throw the TMZ link and shared content because I can learn. God damn it. Atta boy. Uh, grifters get a grift. Yep. Yeah. Chris fucking this man raised me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think everybody our age, he fucking he had a hand in it. Dex, it takes a village, and he's in that fucking village, dude. Dex, thanks for the raid. I'm a I'm a fucking raid a raid out here shortly. Anyway, I've been going for hours anyway, but I I, I know where I'm taking them, and they will be super grateful. So thank you, Dex. Um, you have a great a great night as well. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's literally parts of our uh, parts of us that's dedicated to his his memory. He um. <clears throat> he was he was a hell of a dude. Um, I I prefer Billy Mays. Billy Mays. Hi, <clears throat> hi, Billy Mays here for. Uh, yeah, I fucking I miss that dude. I miss that dude. Fucking Bill, good. Billy Mays was great. Fucking, and he was baller. Fucking that motherfucker died like on a pile of cocaine with his Bentley. <laughs> right? Like yeah, like a champion. Fucking private jet Bentley yacht fucking multiple mansions billy mays was straight rolling in it from selling like oxyclean all right like if you don't think people buy shit off late night infomercials yeah. as evidenced by ron popeel being worth 200 million dollars <laughs> and billy mays having multiple mansions a private jet multiple like bentley's ferraris lamborghinis and a fucking yacht to boot and just like piles of cocaine yeah like dude those you know, yeah you know you he got up into some wild shit you know he totally did He's totally the type. And you know what? His shit wasn't even that well produced. Um, no, it wasn't. Um, but, I mean, shit's... Lots of energy. Shit sold. Shit sold. Um, you know who I love the most out of all those guys? This guy who I... I consider him to be a fucking artist. It's this guy named Tony Little. Oh, do I you, know who that know is. Tony? Yeah, no, I know who that is. Oh, fuck, man. I loved his Gazelle Elite plus infomercial i would watch if i fucking ended up in the middle of that i would just let it play and i loved it i loved it when he freaks out on the gazelle elite and the girl gets a little too close to him and he's like you can't touch my butt on this show not on this show um hang on i'll fucking because tony little fucking here you go it fucking kills me i is. love it he's on stream there you go. <laughs> yes that's that's tony yeah. little y'all um yeah, oh yeah, his catchphrase was, yeah. Hi, Billy Mays here for insert product. Um, Yes, fucking the majestic Tony Little. I fucking love Tony Little. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's, there's a long tradition of this sort of huckster shit, uh, you know, it, it's a whole thing. Um, they, Ron, Ron Popeil's got to be like the Johnny Carson of it. Well, I mean, the, the fucking, well, here's the thing. Um, the Johnny Carson of it was Ed McMahon. Ed, Mc, yeah, Ed yeah, McMahon uh, yeah. started his career as a boardwalk hawker yeah. in fucking Atlantic City. He was the dude Word. who would literally, he was a barker. 
he would literally stand out on the uh, on the boardwalk and just like, hey, 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 what's going on? Hey, fucking, uh, and try and reel <laughs> you in to buy some cheap ass shit that's guaranteed to not work and like and or break within 30 seconds of purchasing it. No refunds. Good luck. Um, yeah, that was that was what Ed McMahon did. He was a fucking huckster. Um, and then he was a fucking talking head for Johnny Carson for years after that. And Ed was multifaceted as hell. I mean, could you imagine Ron Popel or Billy Mays hosting Star Search? Yeah, to be amazing, Billy Mays would have been amazing at it. Um, it would have been watchable, yeah. Yeah. Uh, my end of the deal was being born three months before 9 11. Oh, Sven, you're one of those. Um, yeah, life was better in the 90s. I'll tell you that right now. Sorry, y'all. Yeah, it was wild, man. 90s yeah. were fucking wild, dude. Yeah, the 90s were great. They, look, the 70s were intense in their own way. The 80s were intense in their own way. But the 90s were the best decade we've had in a long time. It was the last good one. It was yeah. the last good decade. Yeah, y'all missed it. Sorry. For the young ones that are like, I was born after like 9-11. I'm like 12 and shit like that, right? Y'all, you missed it. Like last call happened at the bar and like everybody got tossed the fuck out. It, this 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 country is basically a bar that had a last call on 9-11 and it's it's sort of everybody sobering up in the alleyway blinking at each other going how bad is it oh shit it's bad Wait. isn't it i don't think we're being boomer assholes by saying that either no you i know? don't know it's, no. it's, it's, it's objectively there was a lot of shit going on that it makes it better and like less nation state bullshit no yeah. like dhs crap the surveillance state was yeah sure we had the nsa we had five eyes but holy shit it wasn't so focused on us we didn't have ice yeah. we didn't have fucking like dude dude there was a lot of shit plus we didn't have twitter we didn't have smartphones uploading right. we had the internet we had the internet but when it was cool. Yeah, like before it was <laughs> hyper commercialized and corporatized and nobody was uploading what you did at the party on the weekend via their yeah. smartphone to the internet. We could get away with shit. It honestly, there's a whole bunch of objective markers that you can go down for the nineties and compare it to the aughts or later and be like, Yeah, no, that was better. That was better. Yeah. And if they did do if they did upload that shit, nobody would see it. Uh, you know what? The marriage equality thing, again, if you asked me straight up as an anarchist and a gay man, do I believe in gay marriage? My answer is no. I do not believe in straight marriage either. I think the fact that the state is involved in your personal relationship and treats couples legally differently than individuals, a highly problematic thing in our society you want to hold the cherry stem between your butt cheeks and hop over the fucking broomstick and run around the fucking church three times counterclockwise so some dude in a in a magical fancy hat can say fucking poof you're fucking married i don't give a shit go do it the if we have to put up with the government the government should treat you as an individual only period i yeah. That marriage equality bullshit, like, look, I, I, my generation of gays kind of fucked up. We went for marriage equality, uh, fucking having kids, and fighting in the military. And I'm like, what are y'all doing? Why are you taking yeah. away our perks? <laughs> like, what's going on here? Like, I don't, I don't understand y'all. Like, we we had a jet, get out of jail free card for the military for ages. Like, oh, fucking, you, you're being drafted. I, I like dick. Yeah, get them out of here. Why did we ruin that? I always had a major problem. Like, me and some sense lived together for a long time before we got married. We were together before, like, uh, marriage equality and all that. And it's like, you know, well, let's get married. And I'm like, who's going to marry us? The fucking church? Fuck the church. Where do they get the... Where do they get the authority to do that? Where where do I look up on them to do that? And I'm like, you know... And, and then after marriage equality happened, it's like, okay, that might work out and... And we got a judge and did it at the courthouse, but he mentioned Jesus, and I was like, "What the fuck are you doing? Don't we? Don't you know where we are?" Yeah, it's, it's the whole thing is just the, the, the definition of problematic at this point. It's like ugh, yeah. I don't I don't give a shit about that stuff. Um, and I mean, you know, we we made the we made some decent gains. Like I mean, Rabbit and I have talked about it on air before. Fucking. Um, about how like you know the as older gays were like yeah you know what. 
maybe we did go too far. <laughs> maybe we did. We don't. You shouldn't be as involved in this system as as we wanted to be. We're like, we want to be full full fledged members of this bullshit. And then, like everybody woke up one day, was like, holy shit, this is bad. Yeah, yeah. And now we're in it. So good luck with that. Uh, you know. Hey, but hey, I'm an anarchist. What are you gonna do? Take it. Take it for what it's worth. Um. I, I just. Mm, yeah, I miss the '90s. I do. I miss the '90s. It was a lot looser. You get away with so much shit back then. Yeah, there was. You weren't being constantly tracked. Yeah, you could fucking when you left your house, that was it. Like, yeah, that was it, y'all. Like you just you you were just like in the world. Like that was that was it. Like you were just free. It was such a change too. Going into the aughts where suddenly everybody was on your ass all the time because you had a cell phone then, and people were like, I called you, why didn't you pick up the phone? And it's like sometimes you'd pretend like, you know, oh, yeah, that's my landline. I wasn't home, you know? And it's like, what are you calling me so fucking much? Leave me alone. And then Facebook came around, and it's like, you spent more than three minutes before you liked my fucking post. What's up? Are we friends anymore? And it's like, calm down. <laughs> yeah, it, it I honestly, you know, um, did you ever experience this thing? This thing happened in the odds a lot too, where you'd be talking to somebody that you know online, right? And you'd be talking about like, you know, real things, you know, whatever online. And then you would meet with them in person and then you would be there with them and they would pretend like nothing had happened. Like you didn't, like they didn't have a memory, like they weren't like associating, even though they were talking to you and they knew that they were talking to you that like anything that was said didn't really happen. And then you'd have to go through, maybe I was talking to imposters the whole time, but it happened so many fucking times. And I was like, why can't people associate, you know, what happened there with here? Now they, they can't do the same thing, but in a much worse way where like, you know, social media is like the weather <laughs> to weather report. Everybody gets fucking angry. It's like, wait, I wish it would go back to then actually where people were like, they couldn't, bring it together but it's like the brains were trying to figure out what the fuck was going on i that happened to me so many times i i just want you know what i want i want we already mentioned it but i wanted to come back and i hear that the that some of the younger ones like coming up are like some of the trends um in technology adoption are sort of pointing towards this this is a possibility to occur I want the ubiquitous recording to go away. Yeah. Look, we can, let's record cops. Let's record state officials. Let's record all that shit. Like that's super useful. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Recording each, each other. There needs to be a moratorium on this. There needs to privacy be. Privacy laws. Yeah. I think privacy laws are going to get better. Do you like this Lena Khan? I'm liking this lady. I, I, I just want, I don't want a law to do it. I just want a social moratorium on this one. I want us to use the social contract as cringe as the social contract can be. I just want us to agree as a society that, hey, we don't need to be doing the work of the surveillance state for them, right? Like, let's, let's tone this down a lot. Are you talking about common decency, Kai? <laughs> Yeah, like that's that's <laughs> you fucking I know, right? Like that's not coming back. Um, but yeah, some of the, the younger ones and like not even Gen Z, younger than that, their technology adoption rates are showing that they may not actually be as pre uh, online uh, prevalent online as Gen Z and millennials. Um, so there's hope there. There's a little bit of hope there. The mistakes, they see the mistakes. Uh, Ozma, yeah, again, there's there's all sorts of, I, but again, common sense, which isn't common. I know, I know I'm asking a lot here. I know I'm asking a lot. I know I'm asking a lot. Um, the, you know, somebody's attacking you. Fucking cops are hassling a black dude on the side of the road. Fucking somebody's hassling a fucking, you know, a ho homeless person on the sidewalk. This sort of shit. Like, you know, somebody's going full Karen on some poor retail em employee, right? There's, we know the appropriate uses for this technology. Can we stick to the appropriate uses of this technology? Like, I, I, I just, the ubiquitous recording of one another is a little, a little bothersome. 
I, I, I wish we could we could roll that back a ways. Espe- you know, I hear you, especially when like people are having like a mental break or something, you know, and it's like, you know, yeah, entertainment value, whatever. But is anybody going to help this person or what's going on? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's really bad when you're like, that's a mental health crisis <laughs> and you're using. And then they it- have the stigma and then they have the stigma after that because they've been published everywhere. Yeah. And, and you're using it for like fake Internet points at that point yeah you like that's that's always a rough look that you're like oh you got retweeted like uh you know five hundred and sixty four thousand times like you know why that's worse right you you, you see how that's worse <laughs> like, it's just like that it's just it's the exact same shit as that mexican youtuber you were talking about yeah oh god fuck her fuck that chick holy fuck Talk yeah. about just a horrible human being. I'm so happy. Like this is this is like the it, you have these mixed feelings as an anarchist. You're like you know vi- force the police state using force uh, and the monop- monopolization of violence. But it's like you know what? If anybody deserves to get their door kicked down and hauled out of their house, it's somebody who does a re- react video to a gang rape of a teenager with 10 so million views on YouTube. Oh, it's so fucked up. fuck you. Yeah, she is just a horrid human being and providing commentary. Oh, look at this little whore. Look at fuck, uh, fuck you. God damn. You, fuck that bitch. Have you seen Bo Burnham's new special inside? No, no, I haven't. I, 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 you know, I, I'm not a, I'm not a Bo Burnham fan. Right. Yeah. And one time, actually, the obscure curio said that I remind him of Bo Burnham. And I was like, well, fuck you. You go to hell, you dick. But he's like, I love Bo Burnham. <laughs> not like I never got it right, but I was like, I was like, I watched half of it uh, last night, and it's really fucking good. It's really apt. It's it's really apt, and it's talking about a lot about what we're talking about right he's, now. He's always been insightful. It's it's you know I would never take that away from him. He's always been insightful. He's a thinker. He knows what's up. He's you know got if, a decent head on his shoulders. If you don't watch the whole thing, at least watch the clip. Is it heaven or is it a white girl's Instagram? Oh, it is. Jesus. It's great. Oh, that's that's something Cat does all the time when people come in here and try and like outwoke the the oh, left, yeah. the left. Cat Cat will be Cat will just immediately he's like, "So how white are you?" <laughs> like, like, what? You're clearly you're clearly a white girl from the valley. So how white are you? <laughs> uh Oh, Chris, you should go back and like, yeah, yeah, Rev. Like, yeah, you should go back and listen to some of his old stuff. Like some of art, art is dead is probably where you should start. If you're going to, if you're going to pick up Bo Burnham, start with art is dead. Um, that's, that's definitely where I would start. Um, and then the country song is really funny too. Um, but yeah, I, I just fucking. Yeah, can we just get a little common decency amongst each other these days? That's all. That's all I want. I uh, tell I tell people that who are like, you know, they're like in trouble. They're having like their stories always vary, and like a, they came from to me to help them, you know. And like I'll be hearing what they're saying, and they'll people constantly, you know, they'll repeat themselves, and they'll be like, you know, I did this and I did this and I did the right thing and I made the speech and I went and I did all this, and I'm like, here's your problem. You're expecting people to be decent and to do the right thing. That's where you're failing. We have to do the do things that are going to, uh, you know, circumvent any need for that to happen. And whenever I say that flat out like that, no matter who they are, they're really receptive. They're like, yeah, I am being an idiot. Nobody's going to be decent. Nobody's going to do the right thing. Um, <laughs> Sven, you're adorable fucking uh, that's the that's 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 uh, i love that that youthful thing like we could say it's gen z but it's everybody who's fucking young right like this is this uh, honestly fuck millennials and simpletons with shitty art their shit is worth nothing it's like motherfucker do you think this started with millennials like sincerely <laughs> i know people hate it but that fucking uh who did the uh the it was you know the uh, the, the world was already burning um fucking song um it, it you know it's really a yeah. it's really a bad situation for humanity that every generation has to restart and learn everything again we didn't start you know, the and fire. Then we all Thank you, have to go through the same growing pains over and over again like cyclically yeah it's it's it, this is this isn't 
this isn't new. It's yeah, Billy Idol Rev. Um, this is this isn't new. This isn't unique to any generation. This shit's <laughs> this shit's as old as humanity itself. Um, if if you don't think that like there weren't fucking angry broke ass artists in like Greco Roman times who didn't get the patronage of some oh, yeah. senator and w- were sitting there in the commons of fucking talking about how the the other artist who got the patronage was a fucking sellout and working for the 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 system <laughs> itself you're fucking deluding yourself that shit has been happening since the beginning Oh man, I'd love to know the first time that happened. The fucking first time. Cultural anthropologist, get on that shit. Yeah, we'll I want to know every detail of the first fucking time that happened. Um, let's see. There we go. There we go. Um, so I'm gonna kick this off. Um, <coughs> <clears throat> nonsense. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, thanks. man. Thanks for having me on. I had to be on here after the, you know, the Christian rapper. Yeah, thanks. Because I think that. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the palate cleanser. We're gonna write over to Kirio. I, I I've been breaking my rule just because I, I the praxis for the channel the state the channel praxis for raids is that I only raid people who are under ten viewers. But Kirio, it's Kirio's last week. Uh, not even last week. Kirio's last day is Thursday. Um, so tomorrow it's Kirio's last week, um, for a while. He's taking a break. So we're gonna write over to Kirio and say hi. Curio is amazingly good people. It's not a politically charged space. It is very much a, a lighthearted um, sort of, yeah, I call it, I describe it as vaudevillian, if you know what that term means. Um, it's good times. So, you know, be nice. Say hi to Curio. Um, for those of you who came over from, Jesus Christ, so many different raids. Some of you are here all the way from the surfs who made it through the surfs to Kez to me. If you are like metal fucking rock the fuck on. Thanks for hanging out. Um, if you came with like Justin, cool. If you came with Kev, cool. Uh, (laughs) I mean, this is, this is, it was, if you came with Dex, thanks. Um, yeah, I, I, it was a good, it was a, it was a hell of a night. Either way, I'll catch you guys later. I'll see you tomorrow at 1130. We are clear.